<laughs> you did. <laughs> Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Mm -hmm. And tonight we're playing the Atari 7800. Put it on Put the, that shelf. the shelf. Very nice. All lit up. Audio as in none. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tonight we're going to be playing uh, two games Baby Pac Man. The retail version of it. Nice. Boom. Because I think you just got to play it last time when we did the yes. uh, developer spotlight on yes. Bob DiCrescenzo. Yeah, very exciting. Um, and oh. we're going to be playing... The Atari cam is down too. We're having a lot of camera issues today. James tried oh. to turn on the camera. Oh, you just zapped yourself again. Yeah. He, he, he keeps electrocuting yeah. himself on well, uh, electronics. So... <laughs> There we go. There's the cat in the There's cat the kitty. Cam. Can't miss the kitty. No. Um, and Bob is in the chat today. Yay! And also we're going to be playing Pirate Cove, which is a text adventure. Text graphics adventure. Text graphics adventure. Okay. On the 7800. Mm -hmm. And you're like, how do you play a text adventure on the 7800? Well, we'll find out. And that is by uh, Carrie Caxone, who is in the chat right Yay! there. Uh, so if you have any questions for either of those developers, I love having the developers in the chat. I know, I know. Um, you can ask them right here, live on the show. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers it's who time. help support the yum, show. Yum, 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 yum. Perfect timing. Oh my goodness. Did you hear that pitiful little cat crying? So pitiful. It was so pitiful. So pitiful. He went, Arr, meow. 7,800 treats, please. Yes. Yeah. Oh my, oh my. That's oh, this too is many sealed. Treats. We just got a new huge container. Not a sponsor of Greenies here. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Just happened to be. Oh, no. It's sealed. Look at, look at him. He's like, the no, I can't wait. The service in this place <laughs> is awful. terrible. I keep ringing the bell and nothing happens. <laughs> here, 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 here you go. <laughs> <laughs> 8 bit Swami, Al Nefer, Arms Car Coder, Atari Age, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Cafe Matt 2D, uh, Charles, Charles and Check, Charles Wheel, and Chai 5, Danny VC, Dave the Dare, Daring, Drexel, Dr. Mukas, Fox Mulder, Glenn Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Ozure Rapper, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Kev Kelly Croco, Lauren TDZ, Mark Giannis, Mark Spacing, Mel Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zonder, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Neo Media, Orin Deco, uh, Packer VG, Koa, Gar 70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweets, Mitty B, Spartan 501, Spice Sawyer, Esmer, The D Train, Welshman 89, Tiki Dan, Can X, Can X. He's lost it. He lost it under the couch. And I want to thank the people who <laughs> subscribed Atari, Atari. just before the show oh started. Dr. Moo Cows. I want to make sure I don't miss them. Uh, who else? It's like two other ones. I'm trying to find them. Oh, I can't find them. Uh, but I thank them in the text by oh there it is there it is mike soul thank you so much um ding and if you oh. want to support the show you can subscribe as well he's getting good at knocking it out of the air <laughs> oh, oh he's got, he got it. it he brought it back he brought it back it says a tar managed to jump on the shelf in the treats he oh. has pulled stuff down he off has. those shelves yeah he has um and we try and keep a uh, watch on him. Yeah, we have more than 1,024 subs now, so we missed the 1K. Did we? The oh. 1K, in computer terms, subs. Oh. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it did happen. We have 1,026. Wow. So we went over, yes. Oh, he's a hungry cat, eh? He Feeding is. him lots. Uh, he has one more treat left. Our cat will not eat any human food. Very lucky. This guy will eat any, anything. Any human food, including hot sauce. Yeah. Like anything. He, he, anything on a plate, he'll lick. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. and, and it's shocking. We're like, you don't like hot sauce. And he's like, <laughs> it's like, really? Okay. Okay. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh, he's all done now. <laughs> okay. Um, so I do have a poll question tonight, which is always a fun thing to do. Uh, so here's the poll question, and it relates to our first story. How often mm -hmm. do you go to retro gaming conventions? Uh. Now, let's delete the last two years yeah. <laughs> and just forget about that yes. and pretend 2022 butts up against 2019. Yeah. Uh, one, multiple times a year. Two, once in a while. Mm -hmm. Three, I've gone to one. Mm -hmm. And four, never been to one. Mm -hmm. And we go to at least two a year. Uh, we go to two. the Portland oh, Retro Gaming Expo. Yeah. And we go to the Vancouver Retro Gaming yes. Expo. Yes, yes. 
Um, if there is other ones close-ish by, we might. Uh, there's a Seattle one. I don't think we've ever done the Seattle never one. Gone to the Seattle. But a lot of it is just timing, too, because yeah, we have the to Vancouver sure. one is local, so that one's That's easy, easy to go to. And then Portland's the Portland is, is the in... biggest in the U.S., and it's six hours away, so we're not, not going to that one. Yeah, but it's it's usually in October, which is kind of a nice time to take a, like a long weekend for us. Yeah. So... Because it's not, so it works out. Well. It's not summer, so it's not like oh, we have to go on vacation where it's nice and hot. It's not winter where it's nice and cold. Well, and we have you're to go not on driving vacation. through snow either, not driving right? Snow, so yeah. yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, cats, cats would like to attend the cat treat expo. Yes, there's one coming up. I messaged you about it the other yes, day in Vancouver. Yes, you did. There's a cat expo. What yes. is it? What I is it? I can't remember the name of it's it. It's so funny. I don't know Vancouver Cat Expo. Yeah, something like that. I I predict there's crazy people there. <laughs> I mean, there's crazy people at video game I was going to say, all the cat people think all the people at PRG are crazy people. Oh, yeah. So, you know, it's just the way it works. You, you pick your crazy. <laughs> you pick your crazy. And exactly. you go with it. Yeah, yep, yep. Um, so, speaking of Portland Retro Gaming Expo, tickets went on sale yesterday. Mm. We bought our tickets. Have you bought your tickets? Yeah. Um, I booked th- my time off work. Yeah. We are that excited. It's, it's done. It's we haven't done. been in. <laughs> I haven't been since 2019. No. So no. it has been a while. Yeah. And it's su- such an amazing convention. It goes for mm-hmm. three days. First day is just video games. On the Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, all the booths are open. All, all the, the people are talking, doing the talks, talks. and yeah. stuff. And Yeah. So uh, looking oh, very Ivory forward Ivory Towers to that. already booked their rooms, too. Yeah. There's a thread on the Atari Age forums. Oh, really? Uh, where... You know, Alice said, oh, it's on, it's happening. Yeah. And everybody underneath is like, tickets, hotels done. Yeah. <laughs> like, whoa, we got tickets, but we didn't book hotels yet. But oh, I, I'm thinking we have Ramirez to will be at the arcade Friday night. So, so will we. We should have a meetup. <laughs> um, so there's the tickets. Yeah, PRG yes. 2022 tickets now on sale. The second uh, moment we have been, the second moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> okay. Uh, PRG 2022 tickets are on sale now. Somebody Excellent. needs to prefer it. Uh, pre- proofread. <laughs> uh, yep. So there you go. So it's only 177 days. Oh yeah. my God. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Better get ready. <laughs> um, that's funny. Oh, uh, the moment we've all been waiting for. And that's and the, the second, second moment. moment uh, we've okay. all, uh, yeah. You have to it read just it reads in. out of order. That's it, all. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, and Atari Age <laughs> has confirmed they will have a booth. Uh, oh, the, nice. And they posted that a couple days ago. The Port Retro Gaming Expo is back for 2022. We have a large booth showcasing and selling new games for your favorite Atari systems, mm-hmm. including the Atari 2600. Oh, my God. Uh, please stop by and say hello if you're at the show. Yeah, there's this really cool um, 70s slash 80s setup where yeah. there's an, a 2600. It looks like a Nintendo. I think there. there's a Nintendo, but it's but really cute. Sometimes it's 2600. The old school 70s couches and the, and the carpet. green shag carpeting. We and had the, green the, shag the, carpeting. The wooden television. That's awesome. Yeah, the <laughs> wooden t- TV. It is big. It's huge. I mean, it's probably not as big as some of the European ones, but it's the biggest in North America. Oh, and it's it is, big. It's big enough, let's yeah. say. It's impressive. Yeah. It's impressive. And there's lots of setup systems. You can play almost every system out there. Mm-hmm. Um, you can just sit down and play it. Lots of people talking. Um, usually they have a display of, you know, every X for the system. Like, mm-hmm. here's all the Game Boy games ever made. Here's mm-hmm. that one happens to be Genesis. Um, yeah, it's just good. I'm, I mean, we're not sponsored by them, but it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Um, so some updates for the upcoming Atari Age releases. Nice. On Friday, Al posted the boxes that he got. Boxes arrived. They look wonderful. Here's some quick photos I snapped out of, the, uh, of each box. No particular order. Ladybug Arcade, Dog on it, uh, Soul of the Beast, Hellway. Mr. Yo-Yo, Dragon's Descent, Escape from the Castle, Wizard's Dungeon, Unholy, Danger Zone, IntelliDiscs, uh, Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days, Game of the Bear, and Popeye. Um, and then, yes, or today, uh, oh, where is that? I always rearranged. There we go. <laughs> today, four hours ago or so, Ooh, the manuals arrived. A There's, FedEx truck showed up. <laughs> well, look. Look at how many That's manuals. That's a lot of manuals. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, so he's just snapped a couple photos of the top things in it. Nice. Were they, each box is a separate game? Maybe. maybe. Looks like it. Yeah. Hellway and Holy Dog on it, the same stuff. And then he just went, eh, here's all of them. 
Uh, so lots of manuals and reorders. You can see Gal. What is that? That says Galaga. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what is going on there? That that says Galaga, doesn't it? I swear. Doesn't it? Looks it? like Galaga. It looks like Galaga. Interesting. Um, so Galagon. Gal uh, and some reorders. Castle Crisis. Yep. Nice. Those boxes must be so heavy. Yeah, it does look like Galaga. Yeah, yeah. Let's zoom in. That is Galaga. That is definitely Galaga. What's going on? That's interesting. Did he get mm. the license for it? Or he's just like, eh, whatever. Or those just like a couple of them. Interesting. Hmm. Mm. I don't know if anybody spotted that in the in the thread because I don't new think... variant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll take a bit of time to unpack these and put them away so I can easily find different manuals as I need them. Mm. Yeah. Nobody said anything about the Galaga, so uh, there yeah. you go. Yeah. New variant. Quick. Quick. <laughs> the get, Galaga get, variant. Get the rare one. <laughs> <laughs> Artwork is also one I've never seen for it. Yeah. Yeah. It is different. Now we're just being spy. -y and yeah, we're just picking it just apart. Just busy bodies. Like, what? What does that say? Ko Cruiser. Do I have nice. that? That's a good game. Oh, that's uh, a boxing game. Yeah. Carrie Cack said the pinball machines at PRG were amazing. Yes. Oh my God, they have if super you like rare pinball, ones. They have tons of pinball, yep, and I love pinball too. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So let's see. Oh. Also, why it's good to go on Friday? Yes. Because it's quieter on Friday. Not distracted. So if you if you go early, you get lots of space and room to yeah. play. Good to luck play on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, it's crazy. You're waiting in line. Yeah. Yeah. So go on Friday to Friday play to the play games. Friday to play the games is really yeah. good. Yeah. Hundred um, percent. So this was this was posted. Let's say Thursday uh, by Carl. I think he's in the chat. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any interest in sound effect submissions to add to the library? I made a quack sound that I'm reasonably happy with. Feel free to add it. <laughs> tweak it or ignore it. So this thread is about the 7800 TIA SFX sound effects library and sound to TIA mm. program. And what it is, is a collection of TIA sounds that you can use on the 7800 or 2600 or whatever you want. Um, he says, I've expanded the library of sound effects that come with the 7800 basic sound test program. Currently, there's 183 fairly distinct sound effects. I don't know if that number's been updated. Um, in, the, in the meantime, I figured I'd give you guys a preview. So coders have something new to borrow sounds from, and non-coders have a new 7800 bin to play around with for a bit on the Saturday evening. Mm. Um, Anybody is, is free to do what they want with these. Use them for basic, assembly, port them to the 2600, or whatever. Hey, 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 don't go on the app. Um, even if you don't know 7800, the TIA format is pretty obvious. And he's also made a program called Sound to TIA. So you can input a wave uh, into the program, an audio clip, and it'll convert it to TIA sounds as best as it can. Mm. Um, Carl G says, I use that library of sounds quite often, at least yeah. as a basis for what I want to make. And the sounds in Pirate Cover from that library. There you go. There Once we go. Well, it all ties back together. Well used. Oh my God. <laughs> this cat. cat's a little crazy. He's out of control today. He thinks he thinks there's more treats hidden under couches, I think. Um, so let's take a quick look and actually a quick listen um, to it. And um, you can get a sample and we can hear that uh, quack sound. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. So there's Salvo laser shot. Uh, yeah, that worked. So go actually down the other way first because he's added it to the end. Go the other way. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> it sounds. I mean, the T. It's doing it sounds to the TIA. That's shouty. Hey. Okay, goes go back the other way. Go back the other way. Pick away. Well, I just wanted to show the duck, the newest one. Jump man. Nice jumping. So there's a lot of re like hundreds almost mm. of really good sounds, like and and classic sounds as well. Um, because I'm guessing he has ripped them from a lot of games, so you can uh, just easily. Uh, Put them into your own 
Uh, so he says, so wave to TIA is mostly good for waves that consist of mostly pure tones without a lot of overlapping tone layers. So don't change character super quick. Well, whole songs aren't great. Oh, whole songs aren't great. And intelligible human voices are no go. So you can't just input a, somebody going hello and expect it to do anything. Yeah. It's, it's not going to work. That's a good transporter. Yeah, I like the transporter. Very good transporter. Twinkle's nice. Too. Quack. Uh, if I run an album-length wave through sound to TI and put it on a cartridge, would that recreate the feeling of an 8-track? <laughs> Funny. It would do something. <laughs> I don't know what it would sound like. I wonder if you could make it... Because there's so many sounds together, you probably need to put very pure, single sounds, very clean. Because if you put like mm. music through it, it would just be like... <laughs> just all over the place. And it is single channel, too. Yeah. Not like it's mixing waveforms to be able to uh, make something. Very, very cool. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> I could do this all day. <laughs> There's a Next lot. One. Ding. So Next it's fun, one. To, fun to play through. <laughs> um, David Murray, the 8-Bit Guy, just mm -hmm. posted a video yesterday, mm. an update to Attack of the Pet Ski Robots. Nice, nice. Um, by Matt Smith and Mike Sarna. Mm. Um, who is in the chat, uh, Matt Smith, awesome. uh, in the private Facebook group for the game. Um, I'm not able to show the video because I don't want to violate the privacy of the group. Okay. Uh, but you can just join it and, and, <laughs> and look at the video. Um, it has a brand new pokey soundtrack and it sounds really, mm. really, really good. Um, and updated graphics. So I'm really looking forward to playing that again on the show. Because when we played it, it was, it was black and white. And yeah, a lot of the function wasn't there. Yet. Almost no, none of the function. You were yeah. able to search. You weren't able to use extra weapons. Yeah. You could shoot. There was a lot of things missing. But it was a very early sneak preview, which was awesome that we were able to get that. Nice. So I'm looking forward to playing it again mm -hmm. uh, in more of full. Yeah, I know. When I posted it, uh, some people um, said that they didn't have Facebook. So, mm. yeah. And they, they couldn't see it. So, yeah, I, there's no other way in, unless it's uh, posted publicly. Mm. Uh, I don't want to go around, the, go around it, go yeah. around it no, and no, show something that I shouldn't be showing. That's fair. Um, so it is time, I think, for, yes, it is, uh, Baby Pac-Man. Uh, this is by Bob D. Curzenzo, Pac-Man Plus in the Atari Age forums, and Kurt A. Woolich, Woolich, Woolich. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> this is first posted April 26, 2018. That's when the thread was started. And uh, Bob first started um, announcing and making the game. Uh, we're going to be playing it. We have a whole bunch of awesome games. These are the Pac-Man games mm -hmm. by Bob. He loves Pac-Man, as you can tell by his handle. So we have Pac-Man collection. We have, still have to play all of these, but yeah. we're going to get through them. Through them. Super Pac-Man. Junior Pac-Man. Yeah. And today we'll be playing Baby Pac-Man. Yes. Now this is a very unique game. Very unique game. Yeah. Um, originally in the arcade, this is an arcade port. Mm -hmm. It is one of three games that have a pinball and video game combo, combo together. Yeah. So we've actually played the arcade. Yes. Of this at PRGE. A PRG and I think and the, also, the Portland um, arcade that's in downtown Portland. Yes. And whose name always escapes I always me. I forget it. Um, it's like, I don't, I can't remember. Someone out there knows. It's like Command or Missile Command or <sighs> something like that. First, anyway. first Command. Yeah, the arc. Yeah. This game they is have it there. hard. Yeah. And we just die. Just, it goes down. Yeah. Die, die, die constantly. Like both parts are hard. Mm -hmm. Um. So the arcade version was originally released October 11th, 1982 by Bally Manufacturing with 7,000 units made. Mm. There are 93 registered owners of the game on the pinball owner's website. So out of 7,000, there's 93 that are tracked right now. Uh, the other two pinball arcade combo games, uh, uh, the other one's made by Bally as well, and it's called Granny and the Gators. Never, yeah. <laughs> never seen it. And the other one's called Caveman. So I'm sure okay. both of them are very rare because you not only have to maintain a pinball machine, which is crazy, mm. you have to maintain a video a, a video game as well. Like 
both of them c- together. And they interact with each other, which yeah, is Yeah, usually like you go between them, just like you'll see in, yeah. in Baby Pac-Man here. Yeah. Um, so let's take a look at what it looks like in the arcade first. And, and come on, get off screen. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, uh, there we go. Let's mute that because we just want to see it. Granny and the Gators is a good band name. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep, it is. Oh, Phaser Cat Games. I've actually seen Granny and the Gators in a while, really? but it's never such, played it. It's such a crazy name. Yeah. So there's... It, oh, I see. It, it's it's Someone's kind of home, like... Home uh, yeah. arcade, it looks like. It's yeah. kind of like half a pinball game. It's not that deep. It's no. like a very, very shallow pinball game. Yeah. Um. And then it's got the arcade game up above. Mm-hmm. So you do have to switch controls <laughs> yeah. when it switches, but it gives you enough time. So you've got the joystick down there and you've got the paddle, uh, the flippers on the side. Yeah. Um, so you can see the uh, screen is up top. And let's see if, let's just skip ahead to, there we go. And it goes down to the bottom. And you get to play the other game. Well, it just says Tunnel Speed Pack 1. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it, it is right. super, super hard. It is not an easy game. Um, and it's one as well where the um, the flippers at the bottom, there's a big gap between huge them. Huge gap. It's Be- really hard to keep that ball in, in the pinball. It's because you don't lose a ball when you go out. You just go back to the video to the game other portion. Screen, yeah. So that's why it's probably got a very wide... Um, part there. They just want you to put more quarters in. Kim. Well, that's for sure. It's a, it's a quarter muncher, that one. Um, there have been other ports of the game. Um, oh. This one is, you know, that... It's like there's, an upgraded? There's MAME. Oh, my oh. oh, I see. There, There is a MAME version. So this is called Pin MAME. Okay. This emulator. So it uh, emulates both the pinball and the game. Um, all, all at once, and uh, does very. I think it's mostly made for pinball machines, but they've yeah. adapted it so it has the game as well. I think. Let's just make sure. Or maybe it's just the bottom. Nope, nope. Yeah. It does the top as well. There we go. Yep. Um, and then there's also another port of it. And this is, let me read this off of, uh, it is through a emulator called Visual Pinball X, VPX. And you can actually download this. Um, oh, okay. Somebody just made it and uh, released it for free, uh, this version. Um, yeah, so there are uh, two other ways you can play it at home. That's cool. Um, uh, as opposed, and they all kind of came out, I think, at around the same time mm-hmm. as uh, Bob made his 7800 port nice. of it. Um, so there's a couple ways to play it. So let, actually, let's look at the poll uh, before we forget, and it disappears, because it does, annoyingly. Uh, so the lead is, once in a while, 38%. So most people do go... Actually, Occasionally, yeah. Uh, only 22% have never gone to one. So That's most people have, which, fairly high. Which is I mean, pretty good for the crowd of people who I would assume watch the show. You yep. would, yeah. Uh, multiple yeah. times a year, 16% that, that, uh, I didn't vote, but that's us. Let me just put the bars in. I thought you did. No. I yeah, you did. Oh, I did. You put a one in. Did I? Yeah. Okay, well, I voted you twice. You voted twice. One for each of us. I don't think it counts when you, yeah. <laughs> and 22%, I've, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I've gone to one. Okay, so most people have gone to one. Yeah. So I can understand why many have an attendant. Yeah, it is very expensive. If you're, if you're, especially if you're not local, right? If you're not local, you have to get a hotel room. Yeah, and, that and just, that's a whole other thing. Yeah, because the actual event is quite inexpensive. <laughs> Filthy locals, yeah. Filthy locals. <laughs> uh, okay. But the smaller ones, like the Vancouver one, for example, I don't think Super the tickets cheap. to that were very expensive. No. So Super it depends on where cheap. you live and what you have access to. But uh, um, so. This game was originally released on limited edition 3D printed copies mm. um, that I believe Pac-Man Plus made. Um, 
at least I'm not sure that. But they were all a variety of colors, and some of them glowed in the dark. <gasps> that what? one. Yep. No. So there were uh, 20. Looks like more than 20. Oh, that's wow. the bot top bottoms and tops. Okay. Um, so you can see Grey Defender got one. Let's see these names. S. Ramirez, ah. Trevor, Kevin MOS. Oh. Yeah. Let's see any. Uh, I recognize that name. Ground Trooper, Ice Bosta. Great there you Defender. Go. Yeah. Yep. So lucky people. And um, let's see. Somebody, I think Ice Bosta modded his. Oh. Let's see if I can go to it quickly. And put some flashing in lights. He did make the 3D printed. What? Printers. Okay. Oh. Come on. This thread is insane. There's 79 pages. <laughs> that is people a bit are, much. People are really enthusiastic about Baby Pac, man. They love it. Um, uh, no. Oh, there's a glow-in-the-dark pictures. Kerry says, Kevin Most 3 was the guy who found my bags. <laughs> oh, really? Well, it all... <laughs> Full circle. Full circle. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, very oh, I cool. want to glow in the dark one now. Long gone. Oh. You have to print your own. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh, my God. Oh. So there's I supposed to. Um, he altered his. Oh. It says, had a blinky red, green, blue board. I think it was originally in a toys, kids wear in their mouth kind of thing. Remove the battery. Uh, clips and push switch, then jump with the switch and battery contacts. Oh my goodness. So he put his own lights in it. Super, super cool. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bob says, yep, I made the carts on a 3D printer. Looks like Baby Pac-Man gets more love now than it did in his arcade release. Mm -hmm. Probably. Uh, it was pretty hard game. Um, and then uh, a couple months later, December 8th, 2019, I'll put it in the store for unlimited release nice. and that is the one Ooh. i got because i wasn't into the 7800 back when it got it when it what first got released. when it was on limited otherwise i would have yeah. bought that limited oh, edition yeah. card of course because they look so awesome yeah um yeah so that's the one we have and that's the one we're going to be playing Yay. right now so let's unbox it i mean we have before i think maybe not yeah we always unbox when we get them Try not to put a crease in it if it already hasn't. No, still pristine. Very nice. I can probably put those together, actually. Uh, that's a possibility. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they're flat. He warned packed. me. He warned me. We got them flat packed. Well, don't crease it. Fold it oh first. My God, yes. put it. I was like, oh, okay. Okay. So, so they are pristine because I folded them. <laughs> <laughs> so let's put them in. Oh, hardly ever take out the dragonfly. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> but for a retail version, I will. Baby Pac-Man, but Bob. Decrescenzo, Decrescenzo, Decrescenzo. Oh, I've forgotten now. Um, 2019, 1982 Bally Midway. Pinball code. So Kurt is the one who uh, did all the physics mm -hmm. for the pinball. Um, I think he might have done more. High score, turn energizer, spell Pac-Man, loop, hoop ball, advanced fruits and tunnels by lighting side lanes. So we'll read mm. through the instructions. Ooh, dense. Oh my god. <laughs> Very dense. Very dense. Can I play? Yes. So let's go for it. Lives. Well, let's make more because it is hard. Lots of lives. And we'll be playing two play. Oh my Remember god, the volume's cranked. Well, let's turn that play way type down. full game. Vid Could only, you... pin only. Oh. So if you only want to practice the pinball. You can just practice pinball. So if you're not very good at one, but you're very good at the other. Because I'm sure people who play, play Pac-Man a lot would be very good at Pac-Man, but maybe not the pinball. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice option. And if you'll notice, the ghosts are insanely fast. Oh my god, this game is crazy. Okay. Let's read about it. Let's not read about how to insert the cartridge. Um, number one or two, you can change... Okay, Monster AI chooses the baby of the monsters. Well, in the arcade selection, the monsters act like they do in the arcade, which is what you chose. Oh, that didn't last very long. 
They can reverse direction at will and generally more diff difficult than the classic mode. With classic mode, the monsters do not reverse direction and they take on the characteristics of the monsters the same colors and all the other Pac-Man variants. The only exception is Pinky, who is the green monster in this version. Um, pull back on the joystick to release the ball. Oh. Thank yeah, you if very I much. couldn't remember. Were you tilting it, it? Going left and right? I was <laughs> tilting it for a little bit there. Ah! Oh, oh, you just caught it. Oh, you're do doing both at once. It's somewhat oh, dangerous. It's a little, a little, oh, I find it easier, to be honest. Easier, but dangerous. That's because if it just dangerous. hits the edge and it can go under the other flipper. Oh, right? no. Um, so, let's. In maze mode. In maze mode, the baby Pac-Man runs <gasps> like mad, eating every dot in sight, while trying to avoid four monsters. You start the game with two to five babies, <laughs> depending on your selection, and you lose a baby every time a monster catches him. You also have no defenses against the monster in the beginning, so you notice <sighs> there's no power pellets right now. No! You have terrible. to earn the power pellets it's awful. in the pinball section. Is this the only pinball game in the 7800? You might be right. I don't know of any homebrew um, pinball games. Yeah, I bet there. this is the only one. There needs to be more. There definitely needs to be more pinball games. Especially with good physics like this. Ah! Like, ball is a good weight, and it feels like the gravity is, uh, the gravity is correct. Uh-oh. Ooh. Um... The side tunnel functions as it does in all Pac-Man variants. It takes you to the other opposite side of the maze, so that's pretty obvious. But those ghosts are relentless. Oh, oh, oh you, you I thought he was going to come it. right for me. Um, <sighs> the speed at which it takes you there, however, varies. You begin at speed one, which is normal speed. In the pinball mode, the game, you can increase the speed to a maximum of eight, at which the baby sure. moves like lightning through the side tunnels. So you can actually m increase your side tunnel speed. So you can evade the um, the monsters. They're not ghosts. <laughs> uh, the opposite oh side. God. Oh yeah. At the bottom of each maze, there are two one-way exits, which take you down to pinball. Uh, you then you stay in pinball mode until you drain the ball, tilt the table, or in an energizer, which is what we need to figure out how to do, uh, and shoot the ball into the corresponding saucer. Uh, see, playing the game pinball mode. Actually, I'm going to skip right to that. Um, well, in pinball mode, you must earn energizers by spelling Pac-Man in the column under each yellow drop-down target. So you have to spell Pac-Man. Spelling Pac-Man in the first column gives you the first energizer, top left corner of the maze. Second column gives you the second energizer, bottom left corner of the maze. And the third column gives you the third energizer. So... I see. There's all the Pac-Mans down the middle. Now, oh, goodness. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You can also quickly earn an Energizer by quit hitting the ball at the top of the playfield. Hitting the ball from the left side to the right immediately earnings earns the player Energizer 1. So that little ball that goes back and forth in the pinball mode. Yeah. That little one that jumps. Um, if you hit that, you get an Energizer. If you hit it, okay. Yeah, make it flip from one side to the other. Yeah, learning all the details oh of the pinball God. mode is essential. It's like where you get the power-ups is mm. in the pinball mode. Tanya has great Pac-Man reflexes, but mm. this is so fast. <laughs> I'm having trouble with my... <laughs> the stick a little bit. Oh, is it the eight-way issue? Four-way issue? I don't know. Okay. So that ball at the top, you want to flip over for an easy... Oh, you hit it. Hit it hard. So I have to find out how to spell Pac-Man. Uh, also, you have to use up an energizer in the maze portion before you can earn the same energizer again. Makes sense. You can bump the table by hitting the joystick in the desired direction by pressing uh, or pressing the button and hitting the joystick in the desired direction. Uh, CX-40. Be careful not to bump it too much or too quickly or you'll tilt the machine. Uh, the lane just be- Oh, you're out of here. Uh, the lane just between the fruits lane and the bumper will only award points unless the yellow light is just above it is lit. If it is, rolling a ball through this lane will compare Pac-Man columns 1 and 2. Whichever columns have the most lights lit, the other column will be matched. Oh, so you can do a quick Pac-Man. 
Um, so how are you spelling Gosh. Pac-Man? It's so quick, <laughs> so quick on the pinball mode. I barely get a chance to see it. The Pascalator is in there. Ugh. It's so hard. It's so hard. I just remembered the pass. Paxcalator. How do you get the Paxcalator? Um, haven't made it to that yet. Um, it's so big at the bottom. The same thing applies to the lane just between the tunnel lane. Boo! Oh, those yellow lights. If you go yeah, down there, I haven't... it mirrors whatever best you have. So if you have pack there, yeah. And you go down that lane with the yellow on the left, it'll automatically put PAC on the, on the side beside it. If you go oh, down the right hand side, it'll put PA and match it. Oh, I see. Oh, oh come on! Bye bye! <laughs> uh, I think it shows up when you move from the pinball table back to the maze and back to the pinball without actually losing the ball. Oh, okay. Uh, be aware, however, the yellow light is only lit on one side. It will change sides with every rebound. Ooh. We got a tunnel. It's so hard. It's so hard to means. keep going. Got a tilt. Oh, yeah, you should use the tilt when it's going to go down the... Um, when it looks like it's going to go down the middle. They're so bad. They change uh, directions, right? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> it's really easy to get trapped. The center arrow leads you to a bonus baby. Each time you either hit the blue drop targets, which will appear for shorter periods, the more arrows are lit or spell fruits or tunnel. Bonus baby. So you did spell tunnel last time. Oh my god. <laughs> so none of the yellows are lit. Okay, so you put a U in tunnel. Not sure what the green ones do yet. Oh, they oh. they add the letters to each side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, every for. I'm Pac trying Man, to get. I'm trying to get the five things at the top. Okay. That's what I was trying to do. I'm not sure what that does, but. Um. I'm trying to find that. Hmm, I can't see it. What? do the top five things at the top do? I can't find it in the manual. The two green saucers above the apex of the bumpers will spot you a letter in the closest outside lane. Yeah, so we figured that out. They will light up the corresponding even up yellow light and the red arrow pointing to the spinner on that side. When the red spinner is lit, each turn of the spinner is worth 100 points instead of the standard 10. Tilt it. Oh. oh, you hit it up for tilt, right? The five drop targets are how you get power pellets. Oh, those things the, along the top are how you get the power pellets? Okay, so you want to go for those. What, what, sorry? In the pinball? Yeah. The things along the top, the yeah. row, the five, yeah. are how you get the power pellets. That's what pellets. I've been trying to yeah. go after. But how do you know which one you get? Power pellets? Yeah, because he has four of them. I thought you have to spell Pac-Man for the... Mm. So confusing. Pinball games have so many options and bonuses and ways to get the bonuses. So hard. Like, I haven't cleared a single, a single board yet. I think I'm going to hand the manual to you. You can figure it out. Me? And I'll play. In a second. I'm almost dead. <laughs> yeah. So we almost, almost have fruits. Oh, you got it. So what does that mean? What did she get with fruit? Oh, it advanced a fruit. So it went to the strawberry. Ah. Oh! Each column represents one power pellet. Oh, God. Oh, God! Yeah, the, so the spelling of the Pac-Man, right? Represents yeah. one power pellet. Okay. 
I'm gonna make it a little bit easier and put it on classic. <laughs> Is it easier on classic? Yeah, oh. because they don't turn around. You should have told me that earlier. So. Oh. And I die instantly. That was a stupid move going up there. It's so hard. They move so fast. <laughs> Don't corner me. Ah! Oh, my goodness. See, you should go down what the moment it's open. Go down and... Yeah? Okay. Oh, yeah. And then start get. getting your energizers. Right. Because yeah. that makes... Yeah. Um, the top part easier, mm -hmm. right? Oops. <laughs> and then you have to earn it back, right? Because it's, it's closed until oh. you get a certain number of power pellets or you die. Is it points or it's, how do you... It's pellets, oh, I think. God. You have to get a certain number of pellets. And then if you die, it'll open up if I'm not mistaken. So In the classic, they don't reverse direction and their AI is a bit more like the colors in their standard one. Yes. Oh. So that makes it a little so easier. So you could go down now. Oh, yeah, because I died. You died. Yay, reward for dying. <laughs> So if you can figure out, oh, uh, should have went that way. Uh, figure out the pinball section a bit more, like how you get things. If you can read it, please. Uh, well, in pinball mode, you must earn energizers by spelling Pac-Man. Spelling Pac-Man in the first column gives you the first energizer, top left corner. The second column gives you the second energizer, bottom left. Uh, third column gives you the third energizer, the bottom right. And the fourth column gives you the fourth energizer. Okay, got you that. You can quickly earn it by hitting the, the ball at the top. Yep, okay. Makes it sound so bad when you go to the pinball, it goes... Um, you can bump the table by hitting the joystick in the desired direction, or yep. pressing the button and hitting the joystick in the desired direction, depending on pro line or other controllers. Yep. Be careful not to bump it too much or too quickly, or you will tilt it. Um, the lane just between the fruits lane and the bumper will only award points unless the yellow light just above it is lit. No! Hmm. If it is, rolling the ball through this lane will com compare Pac-Man columns 1 and 2. Oh, I see. Okay, you mentioned that before. Yeah. Go! Duh! He's so slow! Mm -hmm. The ghosts are so fast in this game. Yep. Uh, now, they're always in chase mode once all four monsters are out of the pen. What are the controls for the flippers? It's the two buttons. Yeah. In um, two-button joystick. On uh, one-button joystick, it's a little different. Okay, let's try and do some stuff here. And it retains all the things you've done in the pinball section when you exit out and come back. So it's not, not like you start from scratch every time you go in and yeah. out of the pinball. Good job. So what did that do? Getting all those top things. I don't know. Did you get them all? Yep, and it oh. reset. I think. Like, it reset them anyway. And now I die. Because <laughs> those ghosts are relentless. Oh, which way are you going to go? No! <laughs> <laughs> brutal! The ghosts are so brutal! Even in classic mode, they're yeah. just... Pac-Man plus the green one acts like Pinky. That's important to remember. The green one acts like Pinky? Yeah, I don't know how Pinky acts. Is Pinky the random one who just kind of turns around? Are they fast? It's always the red one. The red one. Me. Oh, they are faster than Oh, I'm faster in the... In the... Uh, you are. Okay, that helps. Oh, oh, no, scary. don't. Is it open? Yeah, oh, they're... it's open. Who followed? I can't see. I'm playing. Ah! should say there. DMC Keen. Thank you for following and enjoying. It doesn't say there. The show. No? Are following? you logged in? No. no, I don't think so. Oh. should say. But thank you. Yep. <laughs> thank you so much for following. It showed up <gasps> on the screen. Dad. No! Damn it. And now I I mean, basically, oh, you, do you, that? Need, you need to get an energizer every time you go down to the Oh, bottom. just the red one's faster. Well, that's yeah, enough. Ah, the red one's terrible. Only one needs to get me. Use me. It's open at the bottom now. Oh. 
It's all, remember, every time you die, it reopens. You can go straight down if you want to. You're right. chasing the blue one. Well, I had to. <laughs> if I turn around, I yeah, die. That's true. No! No, oh. you get a redo up to three redos if it doesn't hit anything. Oh, yeah, real? that's, oh, that's why. very nice. Yeah. God. <laughs> go! Get up! There you go. Oh, I got a. Yeah. Something. Energizer. Yay! Finally! It's the first Energizer of the whole game. Yeah, and now you might actually be able to uh, eat some of those ghosties. Yeah, we'll see about that. Ugh. All right. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Nice! Now you pay! It's payback time! Get all the points! Oh, they come out really fast, I think. Nope. Nice! Oh, gonna clear a board. Oh my goodness! Yay! Woohoo! You need better. them! You need those energizers to clear the board. <sighs> you finished. Now they're even you faster. Have you figured out the pinball section? Um. Nope. Go, go, run, run! So the lane. What is it? The far left lane spots the next letters in the world. And sorry, the far left lane spots the next letter in the word fruits. After the last letter is flashing, that if the ball passes through the lane again, it advances the bonus fruit in the maze. Gotcha. God damn, that was so stupid. You start the maze on cherry, but then you can advance to strawberry, peach, apple, pear, orange, watermelon, and banana. So the fruit advances the fruit. Yeah, yeah and you get higher points. The right lane spells tunnel. Oh, I ran into somebody in the tunnel. I was so fast through the tunnel, I just slammed into oh, him. Oh, it increases your speed in the side tunnel. Hmm. What does? If you spell tunnel, oh, the side tunnel okay. becomes faster. So we know that now. Good. I mean, Did you start over? I died. Oh. I only had one life left. Oh, you bastard. I'm down the bottom. I always forget. So tunnel's on the right-hand side. Fruit advances the fruit, so you get more points. Yeah. Tunnel makes you faster through the tunnel. Yeah. Um, the things down the middle... Yeah, they give you the, the energizer energizers. Plus also, the ball. if you smack the ball, yeah. So, you need to spell out. Um, oh my god. There. Now, how do you get those spelling of Pac Man, though? What makes it spell Pac Man? It's not the things at the top, or was it? Oh, no. No, it is the things at the top. There's only five of them. It just does them in order? Oh, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe randomly. No! Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's really annoying that it's the bumpers are all on. Oh, no. I'm just sensitive. Where are you going? No! Just no! Run, 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 No! Uh. <sighs> For each yellow drop target you hit, it adds a letter to Pac-Man. Um, are the yellow things at the top? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, so... Oh, I see. It adds a letter below the yellow. Yeah. Now there's a blue one in the middle. Now if I hit the blue, it does... It f uh, the blue. flashes a green. Oh, why do I keep doing that? The center leads you to a bonus baby. Each time you either hit the blue drop target, or spell fruits or tunnel, this spot... This will spot... Light up the next center arrow and award points. Okay. If all five center arrows are lit or flashing, advancing them again awards the player with a bonus baby. Uh, okay. Oh my god. Yeah. These guys are brutal. They're so smart in this game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we are almost got all the rules figured out. Now we just have to play better. If the blue arrow is flashing under each corresponding saucer, which happens after you earn an energizer, as you hit it, you will way. be taken back to the maze with the entrance you came through open and the opposite one closed. Hmm. Go. I made it. Very Level good. Two. Ooh, bonus. And... The, the pinball opens up again. Mm -hmm. So I've got three arrows lit. So, so if, if you I get five get a, and then hit it again, I think you get an extra, extra life. life. Yeah. Okay.
Oh. Boo! The area right above the ghost pen is incredibly dangerous. Well, yeah, I know. Especially when they're coming out. Oh, God. Uh, so hard. They, they all just go. Yeah, it's so hard. Go down, go down, oh, go down. Yeah, that's right. Congrats on getting an Energizer and making it to the second level. Good Yay! game for certain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I still haven't got an Energizer in this game yet, but I did make it to the second level. Yes. It's pretty fun. It is. It's hard, but it's pretty fun. The dynamic of having the pinball adds so much to the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, getting there. Trying to get the Pac-Man spelled out. Trying to Ooh, just get so those, close. Get those yellows. Yeah, Pac-Man. So one I... more. Oh, I have to do one more? Yeah. Get it? Okay. Oh, did you get tunnels, though? Uh, oh. no. No? You didn't spell tunnels? No. Oh. Oh. You're trying to avoid, so and the hard. red guy just zones in on you. So I, yeah, I have to do it one more time. So let's do it. Let's get that. Oops. No! Oh. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. I have no lives left. The red guy is mean. Oh my god. Yeah, you did get tunnels. You're so much faster going through the tunnel now. That is a good escape route. The problem is, if there's already a guy in the tunnel going the other way, you're in big trouble. Oh, yeah. But if there isn't... Oh, God. Oof. Open up, please. Oh, the red guy's coming. I'm not sure how much you have to get. I assume... It's a good way to get away from the red guy. Come on. No, is it points? How do they open know. up again? I thought I thought you had to get a, f a whole bunch of. Oh, you can turn around, so it's fine. Maybe you have to clear the whole block. Maybe. Oh, I'm dead. Dead. Ho, 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 ho. dead. You. They open up after you die or clear the stage, so you do have to clear oh, the whole stage. Oh, really? You only get one. Let's play two players. There's two players. Yep. So. It just goes back and forth, though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Not, not Classic? simultaneous. Uh, we can play the normal if you want. It's a lot harder. Yeah, you think so? Go to two players, please. Da -da 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 -da. It sounds so negative when you go down there. <sighs> right down. <sighs> So it switches after you die, not after you go out of the pinball area. Pac-Man is slightly faster around corners than the ghosts. So if you want to get away from a ghost, yeah, I've you noticed do a that. lot of corners. Probably a good tactic is to try and get as much of this as you can before. No. Going. Then you lose. I think you go straight to the pinballs and try to get the um, energizers because you do so much better. Yeah. I don't know. That's my tactic. You have to not mess it. <laughs> oh, you got, you got, you got uh, an energizer because you yep. smacked it. Yay! Yep. Don't have to use it right away. But... Yum 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 yum. Get that 16k. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, you can do it. You can do it. Run, 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 run. Yeah. Yes. I don't know how I'm going to finish the level, though. Yeah, there's a lot to go. That's where, what? That's why there's long straightaways and Staljik says yes, so you can't uh, outmaneuver the ghosts. <sighs> terrible. That was terrible. Energizers! I am going to try. The tunnel is really good. Oh, you go tactically zoop, right through. Because you can get away much easier. Oof.
Come on. So how many people have this game? Oh my god. Hit me. <laughs> You're like trying it's to automatically. Me. It's such a great game. It is. And I have a lot of maze to clear. Yeah, that's why you need the energizers. <laughs> oh, uh. munch, munch, munch. Looks good, yes. It is a good game. And the pinball looks just great. And I believe when I was reading through the thread, he used uh, 320 something for this section of the game so that there's four colors, um, which is a red, green, yellow, mm. and blue. And he used 160 mode for this so you could have more colors. Ooh, what was that? Fruits. Fruits. So when, it, I don't, fruits is not. I'm playing. I always think it's me because it because it transitions. Cause, cause it's usually like you lose in, in a, a way. pinball. Yeah. You lose when oh no 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 blue go uh, out of the way. Uh, Maze is 320B and the pinball part is 160A. Yes. Like I still haven't memorized what the B's and A's are and the the differences, like between 320A and B and 160A and B. No. Just I know that there's you get more color with some. You get more colors with 160 because it doesn't need to store um, as much resolution. So you get more color. It's a trade-off. Slowly learning. Plus, uh, is the top of the pinball mode still 320B? Um, the score font is the same, so I wonder if the mode was being changed mid-screen. Oh, I got two. Yeah, 160 equals chunkier nice. pixels, 320 more arcade-like resolution. Oh my god, two I know, power I, ups. I, I did Picking it. Kicking ass. Yeah, I'd have to oh my get god. there. Do oh my god, that was very risky. I do not care. Get, get the dots. Get the ghosts and the dots. Oh, don't die. Oh my no! god. No! <laughs> <sighs> Such Why? an opportunity. You still have a life. I was trying to get the dots. You still have a life. Boo! Good job. <sighs> Save the Energizer. If I can get there without dying, I will. <laughs> now I have a whole top area to clear. Time to die. Oh, where are you going? No, oh, and they're gonna... Yep. <laughs> Knew it. Terrible. Yes, the score is always 320B, so you can get the high-resolution score font. The mode changes mid-screen for the pinball section. Good score. Oh, you finished it. Nice. I just did you use to, up I, the Energizer? Yes, I did. Oh. I'm like... <laughs> Oh. I would like to make it to the next stage. Bob, do energizers oh, do oh. carry over why? from screen to screen? Like, Someone or should basically you... said you can save it for the next stage. You can? Wow. Yeah. That's... That was terrible. I was doing so well. Kittens! Oh, God. He's looking at me expectant. Damn it. Damn it! Terrible. Okay. Again! The only issue with the 3D printed card version is the labels don't sound well. Oh, because of the texture? It's not smooth? There's too no. much. Oh, go in the direction I send you. <laughs> Mine is curling on the end label and one corner on the top label, Ivory Tower oh, says. Oh, God. I hate that. Oh, oh, you get to do it again. Oh, come on. Get to do it again. There <laughs> That's we go. what I kept doing in my game. Oh. Pac-Man Plus says, yes, I've always hated that about 3D printed carts. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Just go hide in the corner. Yep. <sighs> My turn. Oops. Nope, run. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming. They're coming. One. And I get the yellows don't reset until you clear all of them, I'm guessing. Or there's something that resets them as well. Kitten. 
No amplifier for you. I know it's warm. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, dragonfly. Yeah, the dr dragonfly. Oh, I can't get it to stick. I use like crazy super adhesive on it. And I, you know what I should do on the dragonfly is sand it down. Um, is it the material that ma is making it not stick on 3D printed or is it the texture? Because if it's the texture, then I can sand it down and then reapply it. Mm. Oh, you got it. Mm -hmm. Nice. What? Oh, I hit... Did I hit the arrow? I must have hit the arrow. Oh, and got booted out? That was risky. <laughs> get him! Get him! I would get the maze. Ah! Yeah, get the maze. Oh my god, that seems so fast! That was pretty short. Oh, you're... Oh my god, you just got saved. I don't know. I don't know how. <laughs> oh, that's a bad... Oh my god, so lucky. Yeah, go through there. Uh, Bob says it's probably a little of both. It's a combo of the sticker sheets he used, just being standard printer sticker sheets, and the texture of the plastic. So I'm going to try and um, sand it down. Yeah, smart. Always go through there. Oof. Oh, sometimes you stuck. accidentally stop. Uh, oh, I did a pretty good run. Oh, when side opened. Oh, I could have gone back down. How did it open? Uh, because I hit an arrow and that brought me back to the oh, game. Oh, I didn't even see it open. Yeah. Oh, they're coming. What? What? What happened? Oh, I was pressing down or something? Anyway, I got to get to it again. Yeah, I can understand why Atari wants the amplifier. Cats love warm things. Mm -hmm. We have a gas fireplace, and if it's on, he's in front of it. Yeah, there's just... if you want to know where the cat is. <laughs> just turn on the fireplace. Turn on the fireplace. He'll come in a running. Yeah. He's pretty cute. He likes to sun his belly by the yeah. fireplace. Yeah. yeah, rolls right over. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't, really? Oh, of course. Get out of here! Oh, at least the the red guy was a little bit behind. It does take them quite a while to get through that maze. Oh god, no! Oh, Try to get corners! Up. No, oh, he's, he's really he's fast. He's really fast. Yeah, I've almost got it. I've almost got it. That's why cat likes sunbeams. Have you ever seen a video, like a sped up video, of a sunbeam coming through a window and there's like three cats, and the sunbeam moves and all the cats shift every time? Oh yeah, it's so cute. So cute. Um, Nostalgic says, one of my previous cats liked to sit on the back of the old, not flat screen monitors and the heat would rise out the top. Yep, cats like laptops. Yes. Old electronics. Oh, you got a fruit. Um, amplifiers, fireplaces, sunbeams, anything that's warm. Oh, so close. Oh, you got a fruit. Oh, dangerous. So dangerous. Ooh, nice. Oh! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> just. Just, 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 just. Pick of mine with the Ed Ladin Supreme 78. Hi, kitties. Hi. Oof. Come up here. Oh. Are you sensing the hours coming up? Oh, it is. I think it's almost time for treats again. Okay, cool. Wrap this game up after this game? Yeah. Oh, what is it, going it on? Stops so slow. Sometimes. You're just timing it wrong. It's the it's the uh, as you said. I don't know if it's the eight way or what, but yeah, you have problems with eight way joysticks uh, on four way games. I, I hit the angles instead of ah. I should have kept going. Yep. Boop. You don't like Cubert, and you have trouble with four way games. Oh, I hate Cubert. Makes makes sense. Because like, they're both very You're sensitive. reliant. You have to be very, very careful with how you land. Um, very reliant on the joystick directions. Good job. Yeah. Oh, go back down the bottom. Did I? Did I? Oh, I might have messed that up. I did. Oops. Saw that too late. You could have seen the pack escalator. Pack escalator. Oh no! Oh no! <gasps> Nope. Go. Oh, what? I... You didn't hit anything. Really? Yeah, you have oh, to hit just, something. Just bouncing in the you air, get I guess. Three, three, three I shots swear. at it. Woo, good job. Nice. That's the best way to get a. Yes. Come on. Get up there. Poke. 
Oh, it did it. I actually used the tilt effectively. <laughs> hey. Pac-Man! Woo! Did I get it? You need one I more. Need one more. I probably won't get it. Oh! Oh, oh so, so close. So close. Oh. oh. If you hit, nice. uh, there's a blue arrow and it'll send you back. If you hit the thing that. Bye bye. There we oh! go. Finally, the pass. We got it. Nice. Finally got to see it. Maybe I'll be able to get that Pac-Man this time. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Oh no. But I have power pellet. Nope. Nope. Ooh, since getting a bunch of them. Yep. Yeah, good timing. Yeah! Let's Woo, 16 k Oh, yeah, you want to get those upper ones while you can. They come right for ya. Oh, boy. Oh, that was close. Nope. No! Oh! That red guy. He almost had a free man, too, with the green arrows in the middle of the penny ball oh. set. Pinball section. Ugh. Wonder if you could get a flat disc, cut out the plus shape, and put it on the joystick in order to limit the physical four directions. You should be able to. Let's see. Um. Yeah. Yeah. If you do it right, what are you doing? What are you doing, bad cat? Hmm? What are you doing over there? Be there. Ugh. <laughs> I think power pellets are better used clearing the maze and eating ghosts, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you 100%. need them to clear the maze. What are you doing up there? He's looking for trouble. Are you looking for power pellets? He's looking for his He's power looking pellets. looking for his power pellets. Come on, get it! Oh, come on! Yay! A power pellet! Watch him, please. I am. I am. Lies. Okay, now I'm gonna use the power pellet. <gasps> See, you're not watching them. Not watching them. Case in point. <laughs> what are you doing? I've got you now. No, you're a bad kitty. Oh, I'm gonna you're very cute. Oh, God damn. You're very bad. Bad cat. You're very bad it's your cat. Your turn. Ah! Oh, did <laughs> sorry. He, did he run? He wriggled out. Oh, okay. Oh, God, I can go down the bottom. Crazy cat. He's just eyeing them. Yes, he is going for the treats. Any way he can, he's trying to figure out, can I go up this way? Can I go this way to get the treats? What did he knock down? Oh, did a little toy it? at the top, yeah. Oh, you got it back? Ugh. Oh my god, look at my score. Do I get one more guy? Yeah. Yes. Oh, more. can I make it? Oh, very nice score. Oh, if I don't press in the wrong bloody direction. I know. I know the feeling. Come on, come on. Yeah! Trying to lead the red guy away and it worked. Oh, a bonus baby! Oh my god. Yes. Atari is like a toddler stacking chairs to get that jar of cookies. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, there's a little Pac-Man in the middle. Oh, you poor little dude. There you go. Look, there's a Pac-Man in the middle. Oh, oh. There is a Pac-Man in the middle. That means I can get a free life. I don't know what that If means. I get all the blues. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. This level three? Yep. Oh, good job. And dead. But I have an extra life. You have an extra life. Meow. I would pause it for the kitties, but I'm fine. Yeah, you're doing pretty good. We'll just keep going. <laughs> just gonna put on cat cam. Not yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was watching him play. Service! <laughs> this restaurant is the worst. Meow! Thank you, Steps! Who, steps did it? Yes, thank Atari, you. Atari thanks you. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, oh. I'm gonna die. <laughs> The red guy got me. I, I did out, out maneuver him, but he got me in the end. Yeah. Good score to retire on. Made yes. it to level three. Yes. Saw the Pat Scalator. Let's let's put uh, 
Atari on the big screen. <laughs> is that true? I've noticed, every tower collection says, I've noticed that Atari yep. seems to ring the bell properly for his treats when Tanya is on. Versus Darcy where he eyes Darcy waiting to see if he gets a treat for free. Really? <laughs> you manipulative little cat. He knows. He knows <laughs> with me. He needs to ring the bell. He does not get treats for free. That's not I, how this works. I think Darcy has given him treats. <gasps> oh, Darcy. Of, out of turn. Oh, no, no. You can't do that. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Um, so we're going to move on to our next. Yeah, it does have one more game appeal. Yes. This game for sure. Yeah. Um, move on to our next game, which is a graphical text adventure um, by uh, Carrie Kaxanen. Uh, this was first posted. This is brand new. April 15th, 2022. Mm -hmm. So a couple days old. And this build, he just posted the final build of it. Um, April 15th, 2022. It's a 32K game. I don't think he's made any. This is his first 7800 game. But he's a Lynx guy, so he's made a bunch of Lynx games. Mm -hmm. um, you can download this in the Atari Age forums. Uh, he wrote on April 15th, several years ago, I had some email contacts with Scott Adams. So this is a port of a text adventure from 1978 or 79. Where's my notes on this? Um, damn it. 79 1979 it's also called pirate adventure as well as pirate cove nice um uh had some e email contact with scott adams the author of well-known tech adventure called pirate cove this game became an easter egg for the atari lynx mega pack one game collection with his approval and we'll take a look at its uh the what it looked like in that come on change back there we go Good night, S. Ramirez. Good night, S. Ramirez. So this is what it looked like. It has um, quite limited screen resolution. So the text is rather large. Oh. Called, it, called it treasure in the uh, Mega Pack. Gotcha. There we go. Should be catching up eventually and display it. Let's see. Is it playing it? Yep, there we go. Um... I wanted to see if the game could be ported to the 7800 as well, and here it is. The game is pretty heavily modified in order to include graphics and sounds in the game. The controls are also a bit different as the 7800 keyboard appears to be in the work still, so you have to spell out uh, what you want to do with the joystick and set. Mm. So we did some coverage of some possible upcoming 7800 joysticks. Mm. They seem to be taking two routes. One... Um, Somebody's making an adapter okay. for it. Um, Batari is. Mm -hmm. And some other people seem to be investigating the original planned keyboard that was going to be an add-on for the system. Oh, yes. Which yes, seems yes. Uh, like a lot bigger task. <laughs> yeah. Because it has an SIO port in the back and you have to like make a whole keyboard out of it. Mm. Seems like an impossible task. But somebody looks like they're going to try it. Going but, to do it. Uh -huh. um, Batari has made the PCB board for a USB to 7800 keyboard. Mm. So you just use any off-the-shelf USB keyboard, plug it into your 7800, and and you have this adapter, and you're you're done, right? Mm. Um, and it's and the the part the PCB board is already done. So somebody just needs to adapt. Um, the 7800 programs, so it reads the keyboard input, and it's a series of joystick movements. It plugs into the port 2. Okay. And there's already a number of games and utilities out there that are keyboard ready. And they just have to uh, like alter the keyboard code. The code keyboard going input in. Keyboard input yeah. code, yeah. Oh, oh good night, Pac-Man Plus. Um, thank you for making that awesome, oh awesome God. game. It's so much fun, baby Pac-Man. Um, so... This is, uh, I believe, the code he altered to uh, work on the 7800. Mm -hmm. um, and when I said I was going to be playing his game, um, <laughs> he, nobody can see it yet. Um, he said, nice, pirating rules. <laughs> uh, this is, it says, me as Captain Hook in the, the Peter Pan musical last summer. Excellent. <laughs> there you go. So he's all about the pirates. Excellent. <laughs> uh 
Okay, yeah, so we looked at the Atari Lynx version. Uh, that one came out in 2008, and it was part of a mega pack of games that, uh, that you could play. Um, so I think, let's see, I'll read a little bit about the original game published by Adventure International and the second game of the series after Adventureland. Um, Scott Adams was the first person to bring text adventures to the home computer. Scott Adams? Yes, not that Scott okay. Adams. A different <laughs> like, Scott Adams, not Scott Dilbert. Adams? That is the Dilbert guy? <laughs> no. And this is the second game he made. Oh, cool. A text adventure. Okay. Yeah. Um, met, and he made a lot of them. And in this case, based on his wife's, uh, wife Alexis's idea, mm -hmm. ideas. The setting was inspired by the Robert, Robert Louis Stevenson in 1883 novel Treasure Island Treasure and involved Island. a quest to retrieve Long John Silver's lost treasures. Mm -hmm. So I'll read more, but we'll get into the game now. So you're thinking, how do you play a text adventure on a 7800? It has no keyboard. Well, that's a great question. Let's find out. Now, when he first posted it, Uh, when he first posted it, people thought that, oh, I have to reboot it again. Troubles? Missed it. Missed it going on the screen. It's too fast for me. Okay. Restart it. Because it scrolls off the screen. I'm in a flat in London. Obvious exits are none. So it, it, the first line uh... disappears off the screen. So you have to read it. So it is a graphical text adventure. You've nice. got a little yeah. um, kind of cityscape city, in the cityscape back. Cityscape yeah, along like the it. top. Um, uh, I can also see a flight of stairs. Sign says, bring treasures here, say score. Uh, bottle of rum, rug, safety sneakers, <laughs> just to be safe, and a sack of crackers. <laughs> That's the best way to store crackers, I think. I think so. I assume you, you have a lot of birds you want to feed, a lot of parrots. It could be. Yeah. <laughs> parrots, definitely. There you go. Yeah. Based on the Pirate Adventure uh, by Alexis and Scott right. Adams. Remember, you can always ask for help. So, um, the way this works is joystick input. Um, ah. And you scroll through the commands. They're all in alphabetical order. Um, so, you know, go help. So, if we go help. Climb stairs. So there's some. some oh, help. I see. I see. So I'll give you a little hints here and there. Um, but if a lot of them will be like, look, and that'll say what all this over What's again. What's around you? I'm going to fly in London. There we go. I see nothing oh special goodness. except everything else you see. It's been a long time since I played a text adventure. Pace, yes. pick, pull, read, remove, sail. So. Say, set, shut. I do have the original Vic 20 instructions here. And I also have some paper as well. So where are we? At a flat in London? I'm just going to put that in the center of the page. I'm honestly doing this wrong. No, I don't have the sneakers. Now you have to pick up... Oh. Pick so up. So you have nothing. Can I, is there a pick up? Get. Get? Yeah. yeah, thank you. Oh, you went past it and you're... No, there you go. Oh, okay. So once you get to get, then you go to the right and then you pick what you want to get. And it remembers what's your last. Then go up and down. So there's rum, there's a rug, there's sneakers, crackers. So you probably want to get the sack of crackers. I want the sneakers. Sneakers first. Snakes. Okay. And it does have sound, too. All commands are there from the start. Yes, so you kind of get a preview of everything you could do, which is kind of a hint. Gives a little bit of a hint. Um, what? <laughs> yep, okay. Um, and it's funny, the instructions for the VIC-20 explain to you what a text adventure is because this might be the first time anybody has ever played a text adventure right adventures are mind fantasies 
in the beginning, you'll find yourself in a specific location and you have to start exploring. <laughs> you can accomplish this. Uh, oh, try to wear the sneakers. Yeah, it's beyond my power to do that. Can't wear sneakers. No. Nope. You can accomplish a variety of tasks by typing in one or two word commands. So it is a, uh, as opposed to the Infocom games, which were able to parse sentences like really well. The This is a very basic uh, input, just two, one or two words. So look at something, get something. Inventory would be a one word command. It probably just ignored gotcha. sneakers. Yeah. You have safety sneakers and a oh, sack so of crackers. crackers. There's a rug there. You might want to lift the rug or look at the rug. Peg leg. No sneakers. Yeah, maybe they can't. Uh, and there's rum. Oh. So you need the rum. You probably want to look at the rug or lift the rug. Yo ho. Buns and books and boxes and duffel bags and fish, hammers, jetsam. It is in alphabetical order. I know. Now <laughs> you looked at the room. You can just look around, I guess. <laughs> uh, look at the uh, look at the rug. See if there's no. Anything. You just it just tells you what's happening in the room. Oh, look is just a single yeah. one. Flotsam. Flotsam hey, and jetsam. Hey hey hey, 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 sneaky hey, cat. Hey, hey, hey. Enter, enter. The AI, the AI is not Siri or Alexa. Oh, we did that one episode and made some people upset <laughs> saying the A word. No, Sorry if that sorry. triggered somebody. There are text adventures you can play via voice assistant. Ooh. What? Oh my God. <laughs> we have to try one of those. Does Google do that? Oh, maybe. Oh, we got to try that. Oh, yeah. Does 7800 have built-in characters? That's a good question. I've never thought of that. I don't think it does. Does it? Pick? What are you doing? Pick rum. I think it's the same as get rum. Uh, did you... Is there a lift? Shake the rug. Oh, you can shake a rug. Yeah. No characters. So you have to program your own... I mean, that makes sense, so you can have... Well, it could have a built-in ROM with a basic character set, like the Commodore 64 did. But to save money, you just don't have one, because so, it's a game machine. Some games just won't have characters. Drink? Just drink. Drink the rug. <laughs> <laughs> There's a strange sound. I think it's me. <laughs> so have you been able to do... What other things can you do to the rug? Build the rug? No, no, just no, no. Go back, okay. scroll through those. Eat the rug, examine the rug. Have you done uh, that? It just gives you the room. Okay. What um, else can you do? There's something you got to do with the you rug. You can go up the flight of stairs. Yeah, we're not finished uh, the rug. What are we gonna? Can I grab the rug? Take the rug? Feed the rug. Fly, follow, get, go. No, no. It's nailed to the floor. Nice. Oh. Maybe it's just a red herring. Yeah. Light the rug on fire. Load. load just right. save and load, or is it load gun? It's not a save. Read. Save. Oh, load and save. Did load and save do anything on this? No. There's no way to save anything on this. Uh, the Pirate Cove was a test for adding 7800 to the CC65 toolkit. Yes. I don't think I've... Did I write that down in my notes? No, I didn't. Oh, there we go. Climb the oh. stairs. Oh, okay. So uh, what I did you I do? I sit down. I climbed the stairs. So that was an up from, I'm I, guessing? I climbed the stairs, yeah. Okay. Um, mm. I'm going to go to the right for that. I can also see an open window, books in a bookcase. Hmm. Down. Alcove. Okay. And if we're really, really stuck, the second button does um, automatically does a hint, like just does it for you. Hmm. There's no bookcase. 
No bookcase? Okay. Get book? Mm. So it remembers that you're on book, right? Yeah, that's good. It's a strange. Oh, something opened. Do look again. What about Atari Vox Adventure instead of Text Adventure? Oh. Ooh. Yeah, you could. Oh, book bookcase with a secret passage beyond. Ooh. Oh, does that take you to like the um, island? Probably. Maybe. Was there another um... open window? Oh. Close the window. That's the water closet. <laughs> it's stuck. It's stuck. Um, back in the other room, was there another exit or was the only direction? It just said climb stairs, so I'm guessing this is the, the okay. way. That's the water closet. They hide them behind <laughs> so the bookcases. So they book do cases. in London, yeah. Do they? No. <laughs> it's just a door. I mean, the, the houses can get pretty small in London and Paris, so well, you know, they might have to like lot, save some space. A lot by, of older buildings, like they, it's like where's had the bed? To, like, oh, it's the bed's the bookcase. Well, no, no, no. I mean, like older <laughs> buildings didn't have bathrooms in them, so so yes. you know, like my mom growing up in London always talks about them having like an outhouse. Yeah. Until they built bathrooms. So there was like piping on the inside or the outside of the house, right? It was never in the walls because yeah. the walls are brick. Yeah. And so washrooms end was, up in funny they spots. They didn't exist before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Nothing is compressed here. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, go. That's all there is in here? Yeah, I think so. Fly. Hmm. Passage. You're examining the passage? Yeah, no, oh, okay. It doesn't, no, I don't think. There's no secret passage. Are you going through all the S's? No. Mm, or okay. a P passage, it would be. Oh, maybe. No. <laughs> I guess examine defaults to just look if there's nothing to see. Go passage? Sure. Try it again. No? No. Oh. In a passageway. Okay, let's make that north then. It's very dark. I'm going to get killed. Uh oh, Gru's abound. You we're eating my Gru. East or West? So it's got some graphics. Did you, um, Carrie, did you make these graphics from scratch or were they existing in another port of this game? Nothing is compressed here. The source is pretty terrible. Oh yeah, the um, Scott Adam, Adam, Adams? Scott Adams posted the source in a magazine or somewhere in 1980, I believe. So do we know east versus, like, did I come from the east? I guess we'll find out. So uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so, so you went west. So I want to go Damn east. Damn it. That's okay. I'm going to move this now, I guess. Yeah. At least it scrolls really quickly. East. east. Oh, oh, did you go east again? Yeah. From there? Okay. Musty attic. Obvious exit west. Pirate stuffle bag. An unlit torch. Rum bottle smashed into pieces. Uh oh. Somebody was um, upset. Sign. It's empty. Opposite Smash. of light is unlight. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Instead of extinguish. Oh, so you can light and light again to yeah. unlight it? You can yeah. light or unlight. Um, I made it from scratch and tiled. He emailed me it. The source is the original except for the graphics and sound. Graphics, sounds, and joystick use. Mm. So you made the graphics then. Very nice. They're all like uh, Petsky graphics. <laughs> except they're 
what are they? They're Atari ASCII graphics. What is the shorthand for it? Atasky? I think that was it. <laughs> Atasky? I don't usually let you really look at things. Atasky! Oh. Someone up the stairs. There's something there, all right. Maybe I should <laughs> open it. Okay, well, that's an easy enough... Uh... Looks like an IBM character set, though. Uh... Oh, the Atasky characters. Something falls Matches. out. Matches! Ah. Uh. So you didn't get the bag, you opened the bag. I opened the bag. Oh, smart. Attack of the Atasky robots, yes. I think they kept the same name just to make it all the same so nobody gets confused. It's like, what? Why is it called Petsky? Why is it? What's Atasky? <laughs> Bloop. So there's certain sounds at certain points. Obviously, getting something gives a sound. Moving doesn't do a sound, does it? No. Just getting so far. Oh, so there's this is a dead end then. No. No. No amplifier for you. No. No, no. I'm carrying a large blood-soaked book. I don't oh remember my God. the blood-soaked. That's a Unlit new piece torch, of Unlit torch, matches, bottle of rum, safety sneakers, <laughs> and a sack of crackers. Were duffel bags a thing in pirate times? Well, it'd be very useful. They would have cloth, so I would think they would have duffel bags. I, I would think they'd have bags. I yeah. don't know if they're duffel or otherwise. I don't know if they would call them duffel bags back then. Hi, are you on my paper? You can be on my lap. If I can get the bag. Yep. Oh, okay. I have a duff bag now. I have a bag of holding. Bag of holding. I could have added more sounds, but the 32K got filled up. <laughs> mm. Got everything? Uh, yeah, I think so. Mm. Carl says, you can always expand to 48K. Still no bank switching required. So there's like a graphic for each room. And there's the sound and a ton of text. A ton of text. He said nothing's compressed. So I would guess that a lot of <laughs> the uh, storage is just lines and lines and lines and lines and lines of text. Phaser Cat Games, text eats up space really fast. I never thought it would, but I've seen that over and over again because each character is a byte and like if you're doing tech lines and lines that's gonna eat it up really quick jump light light do you have something to light yes matches a torch yeah but you're not in the dark are you or are you i am oh oh you passed it Did passed I? it yeah QRST torch? Oh, yeah, I thought you were doing matches. I mean, I could do matches too. I was just wondering if I could. Oh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> okay, well, we'll try. Wasted well. match. The story is also quite long with lots of screens. Torch is lit. I don't know. No, nothing, nothing useful with the torch here. Doesn't give you anything more. Have you read the book yet? No, no, I haven't. A duffel bag is often confused with a hoop-handled hard-bottom zipper bag, known generically as a jib bag. That was a mistake I made. I was picturing pirates in sweatbands and short, <laughs> short shorts. Yeah. Funny. And and long white socks with stripes up to their knees, yeah, yes. Yeah, because a duffel bag has no hard bottom. It's just a, a sack, right? Isla de Morta. Mm -hmm. Yoho and a message. What you need is a compass that does not point north. All right. Yoho. Hmm. Did I miss anything in the other room? I don't think so.
east, was it? Uh, yes, you need to go east to the musty attic. So, yeah. It's just oh, no, a... that's where I just was. Yeah. Oh, that's not where I want to go. Oh, oh, I thought you wanted to go back. I don't think there's you anything asked left. If, they, if you missed anything. A rum bottle smashed into pieces. I don't know if you can do anything with that rum bottle <laughs> smashed into pieces. Go west. Life is peaceful. Yeah. And go west again. There we go. Bookcase with the secret passage, which is you, which you've gone. So there's an obvious exit, which is down it's to the flat in London. Um, you can go through the window, maybe. Ah, uh, uh, could go back to the where I started. Hmm. I'm digging the green on black text brown and the secret passage. Feels like a nice old green screen monitor. Very true. Very monochrome -y. Hi. Hi. You got fed twice. You're so lucky. You're such a lucky cat. He's so happy. Are you a happy, lucky cat? Flight of stairs. And no exits. A sign that says bring treasures here. Say score and a rug. Hmm. Um, so the only exit you haven't taken is the window. And nothing has been done with the rug. Yeah, but I can't with the rug's nailed down. Yeah. yeah so. But might find something to do with it. Go destructive. <laughs> Go destructive. Destroy it all. Yes, the color changes to add atmosphere in a simple way. Yeah, it's really smart. Like, just change the color. Just to add uh, a very specific color for each of the areas. Just uh, changes it up so it's not like just black and white or mm -hmm. amber. Climb that treasure. So. Go through that window. Oh, there we go. Obvious exits, none. I see nothing special. Hmm. No, nothing. Nope. Jump! No. Don't jump! No. Don't do it. I feel there is a waste of time searching for the words for the command, but I cannot think of a quicker way other than to skipping potentially bad commands. Yeah, there really is no better way with a joystick to yeah. do this. I mean, there is one possible way it's a lot more complicated and would take up a lot of real estate would dedicate a portion of the lower window to commands um and like scroll through a bunch and have four at a time that you scroll through so you can get through them quicker but it's still the same thing um that would be the final exit scum yeah for sort of like scum um, but scum has like very limited and also you can point at things on the screen. Um, so the book is a hint because I had during research I had to oh, do things. Oh, the yo-ho? Yeah. Do I have to scream yo-ho from the ledge? Well, somewhere I think. I don't know. Might be the ledge. One of my favorite sayings in software, it works that way because the alternatives are worse. <laughs> So very true. We just couldn't find, figure out a better way. So I'm going back out the window and screaming yoho? Well, I would try it here first, but you can do it. You're on go anyway. Go. Say. Yeah, you want say. Maybe you can use up, down to scroll through each word and left, right to scroll past several letters. Yeah. Yeah, that might speed it up a little. Well, I was one way I was thinking. What I don't know if it's better is to have like move commands in a separate menu. Like left and right would go to like super well used ones. Oh, what did you do? I said yo ho. Oh, you're on the ledge. Okay, that didn't help too much. And suddenly, I'm ev elsewhere. <laughs> that's the that's the ledge you were. I was on there before. Try it again. Oh, there you go. Ah, 
on so a tropical to... island. So you have to get on the ledge and yell yo-ho. Okay, so I'm going to just start that somewhere else. Let me just go to the back. A small ship's keel mast, a sand, a lagoon, a sign in the sand that says private property. Watch out for the tide. Have a nice day. Sandy beach. Nice. I'm going to put it like right around there. <laughs> Sandy Beach. Uh, small ship, eh? I'm not sure examine has helped me very much. Examine Yoho. Examine the Yoho. Hear that annoying noise? Mm -hmm. That's been happening every day. Oh, there's that's like, the water pump downstairs. Oh, is it? Yeah, I it's, think so. It's terrible. Then it goes away. But it's like, Hoo! yeah, yeah. It's the sometimes sump, it's, it's the sump pump, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It can be very, very. Uh... There's an old DJ in my town, legally named Sandy Beach. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> legally named yeah. Sandy Beach. Sand. Sand lagoon. Sandy sand. What do we have here? Small ship's keel and mast. Probably can't carry that. Some sand. Might have to carry that in something. Lagoon. Can't do much with a lagoon. You can walk in the loon. Go, go in go, the lagoon. Go lagoon? I don't know. A uh, sign in the sand. Oh, it that's says, dangerous. Watch out oh, for it's the actual tide. sign, not written in the sand. Yeah. Watch out for the tide. Uh, and then you can, you can go east. Get Small. sand? No. Why would you need sand? <laughs> That's silly. Feed the sand. Too much to carry. Well, yeah, that's probably just a generic thing yeah. when you try and get this, the ship. The old adventure engine maps tons of works into one action, like go equals enter, climb, pace, yeah. right, right. Yeah. So a lot of redundant words. Yeah. Um, so that's a possibility you could cut down on the redundant words. Mm. Unless there's like a specific word. Oh, what are you doing? Inventory. Okay. Can you use any of this? Mm -hmm. Can I wear the safety stickers? You might want to. It wouldn't let me before. Because now you're on a beach. <laughs> Weird. Maybe you're already wearing them. By maybe, having them. Maybe, yeah. Okay, let's go east. I don't think you can do anything with any of these things that you're not there. Yet. Ah. Oh wait, my childhood is ruined. Sandy Beach is not his real name. Oh, you can always. Oh, you should rec You should uh, suggest it though. You can always uh, pretend go that. East. There's an old 2600 homebrew text adventure called Dark Mage. Yes. Uh, did we play that one? We might have. We did play a text adventure on the 2600. There weren't many commands, but you could get through the movement and actions pretty quickly with one joystick. Yep. Yeah. Oh, where did you go? You go east? East, yeah. I can also see a mongoose. A oh, grass gosh. shack. Don't mess with the mongoose. I can put the mongoose in the bag. With the crackers. You won't have any crackers left, though. <laughs> You'd eat all the crackers? Yeah, probably. Uh... So you are meadow. Okay. Ooh, east and west. Uh, I should do something with the mongoose. Yeah, in the sack. Get mongoose. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. You can die in these games. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. There's probably a snake you need to Cat. Kill, with the... kill with the mongoose. I'm guessing the shack is shack. east. I can also see wicked looking pirate, a treasure chest, a parrot. Oh. Parrot cries. Check the book, mate, matey. Oh. Hmm. What? You already know. You've already done the book. I'm going to say yo ho again. It's going to take me back. Good. It will. You think? It'll take you back because you have to bring treasure back, right? Please. So you don't have any treasure, so don't do it. Don't say yo ho. Say 
Sam? Oh, Float Sam is really in the list. Yes. Lots of them. Yeah. Need a mix of vodka Red Bull. Give rum to Mongoose. <laughs> well, there's a pirate. You have rum? Pair date a cracker. What? He ate one of my crackers. You probably have infinite crackers. Uh huh. What you need is Check a Check the book, matey. Just not point north. Oh. Open book. Oh, okay. So you haven't opened the book yet. Well, I've read it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that should make it, yeah. Reading the book, you would think the prerequisite to reading a book would be opening the book. Something I guess falls not. I <laughs> guess reading the book is like reading the front and there's yeah. the, the little leaflet. Or what's on top of it. Fly leaf, yeah. I would treasure that, Mongoose. <laughs> Treasure's not a command, but there is treasure, right? <laughs> oh, that's... Isn't that the flyer that you read that said Yoho? Mm -hmm. There's a pirate there. Parrot there. Check the chest, matey. Oh, there's a chest there. Yeah. Oh. You'd think the uh, pirate would not want you messing with Poking the chest. Poking around in the chest. Yeah, I agree. But you should give him some rum. Then he'll get drunk, pass out, and then you can open the chest. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. That's nice. <laughs> Nice little bonus carry. What <laughs> did it do that in the original game? Is that some, something that uh, that you added, like in addition to? Uh, that is so cute. That's good. Paradata cracker. He so, likes the crackers. Give the rum. Do it. Give the rum. Do to it. The Easter, Easter egg. egg. Yeah. Give it the rum. Is the scrolling text window something you could think could be adapted to multiple windows, different sizes, etc.? Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking is having a... See that stuff on the bottom? You can dedicate that whole section to commands. Like have like... Pirate, pirate grabs rum, scuttles off, chortling, the parrot cries, Check the book, matey! Yeah. Now you can check the treasure Open. chest. No, it had an ad for Scott's game. Ah, nice. Yeah, no need for that ad anymore. <laughs> Those are pretty old games. Mm. It's locked. Oh, oh no. now you need a key. Because if you had a box at the bottom, you could have north, south, east, west, up, down. Like just the letters on the left-hand side, right? for super quick access. Then over, you could have a scrolling list or something like that, like super common ones. Mm. The mongoose knows how to pick locks, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's its games. secret skill is that gotcha. the mongoose knows how to get its way, weasel its way into the treasure chest. Parrot, West, sack of crackers. Oh, I did. Yeah, you I drop put them, it? I put them oh, down. Okay. Um, Small advertising flyer. So you know you need Check to get the, the treasure book. chest. That's one of two treasures that you need to bring back. Yeah. Like mongooses always do. They know how to pick locks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you need a key. Mm -hmm. um, Check the book, maybe. Um, did you read the book? No, you read the flyer. I read the book. I've okay. read it multiple times. Okay. Yeah. You just didn't open it, which made it fall out. Made the flyer fall oh, out. Okay. Yeah. Mongoose? Mm -hmm. I wonder. Is the plural of mongoose mongoose or mongooses? It's one of those, I bet. Mm. Smash. Oh, that's not going to work. It's always worth a try. Yep. I can't do that yet. Need a key. Maybe the pirate has passed out from the rum. Well, we can exit. And you can go get his keys now. So that's west or exit, if no, there is not. an exit. Yeah. No, there isn't. 
Mongo Pie. <laughs> that could be it. Mongoosey. All very good suggestions. He's not there. No. Maybe he's over. There's only three spots on this island so far. It's only the shack, the meadow, and the sandy beach. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can go, go east to the beach and west. Again. No, I haven't gone west. I went into the shack. I think west is the sandy beach. But uh, so east, we haven't gone east, east yet. East is shack. No, I went into, I, I entered the shack. But out of the shack, you went west. So oh. it would make sense going east. Well, if I go shack. east, we'll see if I end up in the shack or somewhere else. Yeah, it might be somewhere else. I was, because I said enter shack. I didn't yeah. say go east. But, you know, like Carrie says, there's lots of redundancy. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I, I knew, to change I knew it was a different God space. Damn it. <laughs> I have to change all this. <laughs> just just put the shack. Nope. Oh. I have to make it make the shack south. <laughs> Otherwise this is crazy. Something east is not east. It's like Oh, it's fair enough. Yeah. I'm at the foot of a cave ridden hill. Foot of cave. A path leads on up to the top. So I can go west. So west back uh, or up. Hmm. There wasn't anything here. No, no, I'm at the foot of the Cabron Hill. A pathway leads up to the top so I could go up. You see a mongoose to the west. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very cute graphics. It is. You see a mongoose. <laughs> gotta be or climb up uh go up climb up enter up it's probably all the same i right, climb probably needs climb oh my goodness at least it remembers nope no what climb hill maybe. go cave enter cave hill climb hill climb hill ascend up obviously yes you have to use ascend not climb that's it's not sophisticated enough. Oh my god, really? Below is Tortuga. What did you do? Climb hill? Climb hill. Oh my goodness. So it's not up, right? It's send up. <laughs> send up. Yeah. Climb path, too, yeah. Um, uh, I'm on top of a hill. Below is Tortuga. Across the sea, way Tortuga. off. In the distance, I see the horizon. Obvious exits down. I can also see a rock wall with a narrow crack in it. What? The exits are down, but you couldn't go up. But you can go down now. No, no, I went up. I climbed. What? I climbed. Yeah, you climbed up or I climbed, climbed hill? hill? Climbed hill. Yeah, but you said go up. and It, it went, didn't like no. go up. It wanted to climb but hill. But from here, you can go down. But the hill is a thing, so Grr. you climb the thing. <laughs> it's just being difficult about it. <laughs> you a are. rock wall with a narrow crack in it. Like it. Yeah. Excuse me. Now you need a 3D map. Uh, I'm just using directions that are not used. So so I went instead of... I'm, I'm labeling Climb Hill and putting it north. But yeah, you do really need a 3D. And some of the text adventure games are like... West is not west and there's things that loop around and don't make sense. Bunch of twisty passages all look the same. Mm. That's Colossal Cave. No. Uh, yeah, I, I played a number of Infocom games um, back in the 80s. Actually, I've got one. This is an Infocom game that uh, Darcy and I co-own <laughs> that we bought in the 80s what? for the Commodore 64. Oh, you co-own it? Oh, that's yes, so funny. Yes, we both paid, you know, half how, the price how of it. How old were you at the time that happened? Uh, it probably would have been 87, 88, maybe. Okay, okay. Let's see if it's got a date on it. This is Suspended, which is 
a very clever game. Um, you are in suspended animation. Okay. And you can control five robots. Five robots. Around your space station. Oh, really? Each of the robots only has one sense. So Weird. one of them can see, one of them can hear, one of them can touch, one of them can smell. Weird. And uh, you have to figure out what the hell's going on. And the one that can see is disabled at the beginning. So you're oh, so screwed. That's it's so funny. This game is super hard. But it's really, really cool. I'm trying to find the date on it. So what should I do? A well, rock ball and a narrow crack. crack. I know. I was trying to figure out what I can do with the, the crack. Dig? What's the date on Dig. this? Open? Open crack? Uh, examine? Look at it, at least? Oh. oh, you can make examine the crack. I was trying to find examine wall. What's the date on this? 81. 82. Well, I bought it way after that. Because I met Darcy in 86. Um, and he didn't get a Commodore 64 right away, but we might have bought this before he got one. Um, so what about 87, 88, most likely? We did not get far in the game. <laughs> it was no? super, super hard. It comes with a map and stickers, so you can put the stickers, each of the robots, on the map. Something kind of funny. Uh, I've wanted to make a game with a top-down view where north isn't up, just to screw with expectations. That's just mean. That is mean. That just sounds mean. <laughs> that game would be diabolical. Look. I've heard of a SNES or NES game in which your character is always facing up and you use the shoulder buttons to rotate the whole screen 90 degrees. I can't recall the game right now, so like rotate each of the shoulder buttons. Yeah. That makes sense. If it's like a first person perspective and you're like changing directions. Well, I always call up map north just in case it isn't real north. Like in D&D &D games. Yeah, I mean, always up is north when you're looking at a map. Regular maps are like that. So it says, there's something there, all right. Maybe I should go there. And then go you crack? go to the crack. Sorry, I can't. Something won't fit. What? Maybe I should go there. And you try go crack, yeah. Yeah, and then it's like, no. I, I, uh, there's no open wall. Open crack? Oh, maybe, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Like, just let's, open it a bit. Yeah, let's try that. You might be carrying too much stuff. Oh. <laughs> Check your inventory. Oh, oh. Uh, I don't know what. You don't have like any pry things in your inventory, though. You might oh, have what? Oh my god, cat. I might be carrying too much stuff, but I don't think I am. I don't think I have anything in my inventory to pry. No, you don't have any crowbars or. No, nope, crows. Does not or... understand. Hmm. Um, Release the crack in. Uh, smash crack. Yeah. Throw, swing. Smash? Smash. I doubt it. Not feeling destructive. <laughs> I think that's a general answer. Yeah. <laughs> when you... That won't fit in the crack. Long or wide? <laughs> you have something long. Well, not right now. No. What's in your inventory? I have rum. No, rum. no, maybe I give no, the rum to give, the... I think the rum's gone. Rum is well and gone. A large blood soap gun. Dimensions. Duffel bag? Nah. Safety sneakers. Not just a duffel bag, a pirate's duffel Obviously bag. Obviously, I need something. Um, I should go there? What's in the duffel bag? Where's the wall? Well, there was crackers in the duffel bag, wasn't there? I I, get, I left them with the, with yeah. the um, parrot. Yeah. Too bad the rum would have solved everything. <laughs> That's right. Just start drinking, you'll figure it out. Uh, hmm. And you've looked at the rock, or looked at the crack? You can't look at the rock or the wall, just the crack. And it just says, look, it says, yeah, there's oh. something in there. Maybe you should go to it. Let's see. Ooh. And you've... Too bad the rum would have solved everything. 
something won't fit. You are carrying something too big. Look, something won't fit. So you have to drop it. You have to drop something. Drop the 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 duffel bag? Probably. No. Enter the crack. <laughs> Go to the crack. Enter crackers. Mm. Mm. What else do we have that's too big? Oh, shoes. What? <laughs> the shoes? Yeah. Safety shoes. I just keep thinking of the safety dance. What else do we have? Let's just drop everything. I think we probably need the torch. Uh, the torch um, and the matches I would keep. I don't know if there's much else. There's book. the book. But I think... Oh, I think you need the book. I think you need the book. I wouldn't drop the book because that's what gets you back, I think. Yeah. So, just try again. We're down to basics. Let's let's do it. Oh, wrong way. Enter crackers. I don't know. I'm gonna drop the book. You you'd think it wouldn't give that hint if it didn't want you to drop something. Yeah. There we oh. go. Pile of sails. Ooh, I could bring that back to the wow. um, pile of pre-cut lumber. A tool shed. A narrow crack in the rock. That's odd. So you're where? In a large cavern. If it was a mean game, somebody would steal your book <laughs> when you go back oh. outside and be like, your book is gone. Wait, 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 wait. Where did you go? Tool shed. What direction was it? In the tool shed, in the in the space I was in. It was like the shack. I'm 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 where I was, in the cavern. Yes. There's a tool shed in the oh, cavern. Really? <laughs> yes. That's funny. Yep. I can see a claw hammer, shovel, water wings. Ooh. I want Those all are these very things. useful. Yep. Good night, Neo Media. Good night, Neo Media. Thanks for watching. Uh that's very strange as a tool shed. Go on a diet. Yep. Yep. Get all. Is there a get all? Because I know that in some games there's like get everything just makes it so much easier. Probably not. Probably not. Whatever this, I this get, I won't be able to get back through the crack. I could guarantee that much. Yeah. Get 30. Interesting. Uh, climber. Uh, definitely. Probably just Probably hammer. hammer. Yeah. There. Too fast. At least it's in alphabetical order. Shovel. And then you can dig in the sand. I bet the shovel will open up the the fissure. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. So I can get back out again. Maybe. So does North get you out of the tool shed? Yeah. Oh, this map is a nightmare now. Or exit, I don't know. Obvious exits north. My map is terrible. <laughs> but I've got little arrows showing. Too bad it doesn't just have north, south, east, west, rather than having to do go north, go south. Pile of sails, pile of pre-cut lumber. A tool shed looks like it's inventory. Like you can yeah. get it. Your the tool shed's in there. So anyway, I would get all yeah, that. Crack. Get that sails. Get those sails. Yeah, but I, I, uh, I. How do I get back through the narrow crack in the rock if I had to dump everything to get in? It's probably just doesn't let you have the book. That's all. It's probably just a thing so you can't escape yeah. from here with the book. Yeah, that's fair. Uh. I mean, in the text adventure Dragon World, there's a classy, classically nasty pun-based puzzle. You come to a fork in the road, and you have to take the fork. Ugh. 
That's painfully terrible. That's great. <laughs> it's like a joke my dad would make. Yeah. Oh, so Isn't bad. Isn't that in the, the Muppet movie? Oh, I'm Turn sure. Turn left at the fork in the road. There's a gigantic fork in the road. Yeah. I thought that was hilarious when I was a kid. <laughs> yep. And that's... Yep. That's the it was, magic it was of the Muppets. With the band in the, in the... What was the name of the bus they were in? Maybe it didn't have a name. Oh, it probably did. Uh, Seems like it would. Now you're full of stuff. So you've got everything now. So now you need to, what is it? Enter crack. <laughs> you have to, no, you have to enter the crack, go, not go crack. Go west, go west, enter oh. crack. <laughs> That's how you got in. It says you can go west. Okay. Does it let you exit? Oh, what? I'm in a long hallway. What? Are you back home? No. Well, it looks like the same space. It does. I'm in a long, obvious exits east. I can also see a locked door. A lock? Oh, that's a different, different hallway. Now we have two things that need keys. Hmm. Did you pick up the book? No, the book's outside, outside the crack. Outside the crack, yeah. So we're still inside the cave. Huh. In the hallway in the cave. <laughs> I can exit east, which is back to where I came from. Yeah. And then I see a locked door. I have no keys. We'll have to come back here after we get a key. Um, what are you lighting? Light the hallway? I can light the matches. Your torch is already lit. Yeah. I would just get out. And uh, go to the beach and start digging with your shovel. Or use the lumber to help, and the sail, to help build rebuild yeah. the boat. That's kind of where I'm thinking. Oh, you didn't go through the crack. No, no, we no. Uh, went uh, west, inside the cave still. It has a command sail, so you it do does. get a boat. Oh, for sure. It's the unfortunate part of actually listing every command is you kind of get hints. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's build, too. Build boat. Yeah, yeah, when you get back. Oh, do you have tools? What I do you have, have a claw hammer. Oh, well then, yeah, you've got everything. Yeah. Go, go. Uh, Enter. Enter? That's how you got enter. in. Oh. Yeah, so we've got the sails, we've got pre cut lumber, <laughs> we've got a claw hammer, we've got a mast. Oh no, you're going to have to do one thing at a time. Hmm. One thing at a time. You yeah, think? you have to drop everything, take one out, one out, mm. one out. At least everything's at the crack now, so. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it only verbs and then nouns. It's a verb-noun combo. Um, yes, it's in the instructions says the first word is always a verb. The second word indicates, indicates a direction or an object. So not noun, but verb and then something. Um, suppose, for example, you're in a dark room. The Vic 20 says, it's dark in here. I can't see. What shall I do? If you're carrying a torch, you can light it by typing light torch. Some but not all the words you may find useful. Climb, drop, enter, examine, go help, leave light, look, move, pull, push, quit, read, save, say, take, where. What happens if you do um, save or load? Because does it give you a, a code? A special code? Sail. Try way anchor. Uh, hints. Drop the stairs. To save your game, press um, press record and play on tape. 
Save really saves the stuff in EEPROM. What EEPROM? But there's no EEPROM. <laughs> yeah, there's no EEPROM. I'm like, what EEPROM? Not in this cartridge. Not on the Dragonfly. But, I mean, if you put this on cartridge, you could. You could save it. Or you could use the save key on, uh, yeah. To use the Atari Vox slash save key. You could save it. Uh, so you've got claw hammer, shovel, water wings. Yeah, you could try and go out now. I like that one. Oh, okay. Here, can you take over for a second? Okay. <laughs> By dropping the water wings? Yep. You you can get now. Drop. Wings. And we're down to basics, so we can just take out the shovel, shovel and the claw hammer, and we can try. Um, what was that? Enter crack. Enter. Crack. Oh my god. One thing at a time. Well, we're dropping the shovel. Enter. It's going to be painful if we have to move one thing at a time. A little better with the keyboard. There we go. Oh my god, the painful. Now I drop something. Now I drop the hammer. Oh. Can take one thing at a time. And then I enter the crack. And then I pick up something. And then I enter the crack. And then I drop something. Painful! Look at all those things! At least enter and get and drop are like very close together. together. Um, and that's why they make you drop the book. Otherwise you could just go through the crack immediately. It may be that what you actually need to do is unlock the door. Like, we don't have it. Yeah. Like, yeah. and that's how you get everything out. If you're wearing the water of the wings, that might be tight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so I've got the lumber. You've got the lumber? I've already um, you dropped taken everything? something out. Yeah, I did drop everything except for one thing. The claw hammer? Okay, lumber just does not fit. No, you wouldn't think it would. So maybe I can just take everything but the lumber? Or the sails. Oops. Drop. You have the claw hammer? Can you get out with just the claw hammer? Um. Got the claw hammer. Yeah, that's all you, sh you should have now. Inventor. No. I don't care what I have. Oops. No, it doesn't look. doesn't let you load. No? <laughs> I was trying to do look. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Where's look? It is there. Oh my goodness. It's very sensitive. Uh, so I cannot take the lumber. Uh, shovel, I guess. I'll take the shovel. You, you have a claw hammer still. Look at your inventory to see what you have. No, no, I dropped it. You, no. Where's the claw hammer? I took it outside and I dropped it. Oh, you were able to take yeah, it yeah, outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. So some things you can take out. The shovel. I want the shovel. Get okay. me the shovel. I'm sure you have to dig in the sand to find that stupid key to get the rest of it out. Oh, yeah. Uh, can so the water wings don't go? No, but the tools I, maybe. I've lost track now. Did you try to take out the water wings? Yeah, but with something else. Oh, I see. So it's... try the shovel first then. Enter crackers. Oh my god! You don't have the shovel, do you? Oh, you do have the shovel. The shovel doesn't fit. Uh, the lumber doesn't fit. So now you just need to find the water wings. See if the water wings by themselves. <laughs> okay. Who doesn't want water wings? Hi. What's up, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Man. Okay, we're getting the water wings. Water wings. See if you can get out with those on. They don't have to be oh, inflated, kitten. 
No, they can be. Is it wings? Wings. <sighs> Let's try this. Oh, I know he's so frustrated. Yes, he is. <laughs> it's just yes, if it was keyboard, is. it wouldn't be. A, oh my god, it wouldn't be as bad. But just this part is okay. There we, we, go. we can get water wings. We can have a hammer. But the claw hammer, but not the shovel is too big. Can't get the shovel. That's okay. So you can't dig. Okay. We have a claw hammer though. Okay, so let's take all this, I guess, yep. and uh, hammer. Get book. Yeah, we do need the book to get back. Um, sneakers. Yeah, you might as well. I don't know if you need the duffel bag, but... Oops. Or you could create a modern adventure game like the upcoming Wizzy. Nice ad. <laughs> He's working on a, a game called Wizzy. Nice. Um, for the 7800. Nice. Um, it's like a graphical adventure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to leave the duffel bag. Yeah, sure. We know where it is. We need to go back. Go sneakers. Go sneakers! Yay! Go Atari Cat! <laughs> go west. Now you can look. Here. Hmm? The meadow, and then we're gonna go to the beach, or what? Yep. Still need a key, so I'm wondering. If... Oh, we're supposed you went to go the wrong west way. again. West. And at least I can go west again. Oh, there's mongoose. Can we do something with something that we got? In well, there? you could put the mongoose in the uh, pirate's um, duffel bag, I suppose. Yep. Um. Yeah, I bet you need the sails and the lumber with the keel and mast to build a boat. And claw hammer. Um, yeah. I'm just going to drop the claw hammer here. Why? Because this is definitely where it's needed. I don't know. You don't know that. Yeah. Keep it with you. Yeah. Water wings? I, 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 I carry everything in, until I have to drop something. So. Well, I have to go get back. The water here. wings probably let you get in the water and not die in the tide. So. I'll have to go back and get the, the bag. Then. Well, don't worry about the bag for now. Okay. What should I do You've next? You've already dropped it. Um... What can we do? Watch out for the tide. Put on water wings. Wear water wings. Be funny. Go in lagoon. Wings or yeah, wings. wings? Yeah. <laughs> really? Use them? No. It's no use. No. Okay, I'm gonna go get the duffel bag. <laughs> Put the mongoose in the duffel bag? I can't think of anything else right now. <laughs> Can you? Can you think of another thing to do? No. I'll have to go up? Yeah. Uh, what is it? Go up or is it? Climb, climb hill. Climb hill? Yeah. Oh my god. Climb, hill, duffel bag. Oh, just get everything. <laughs> oh, I see it. That's that's a double word. Um, double most bag. things are just yeah, one word. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, Go. Put them in the water first or else they're really hard to slip on, says RC70. <laughs> <laughs> very true. Very true. Yep. Nope, now I can put the mongoose oh. in the in the bag. Right. Long way around. Okay, so what command? Get? Mongoose? No. Catch mongoose? Is there a catch? Hi, cat. Don't go up there. 
Catch. Oh, there is. Catch Monastery. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. Oh. oh, what was that? It's like you're doing something and you don't want me to, I don't want to do it. Mm. Man. Look, he's being tortured. Uh, oh, by nostalgic. The sun is up already. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Where is that? Yeah. 835. Somewhere in Europe. Very Eastern Europe. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's eight, seven, four, three in the morning, plus a couple more. Oh, uh, yeah, did I see Eastern Europe. Finland? Oh, okay. Ah. It's what, like seven, eight hours away? Or I very, think. very north. Well, it'll, Does be, that help? it'll be sunny too. Going yeah. north? Yeah, not quite. It shouldn't be. Because it's You're after not quite spring. June yet. Yeah, it's after spring. But. So it would be helpful going north for more sun. Um, I've got too much to carry. So that does that mean I can catch the mongoose? But I really ap actually have too much to carry? 6.30 in the morning. That is early. <laughs> that is early. What do I have? Thank you for, for watching the show, getting up early. Nails. Oh, yeah, thank you. Oh, my God, it was early. Wow. You have nails? No, I don't. Um, oh, you can take the nails off the rug in the room. Uh, can you yo-ho your way back? Yes, I have a book. But I don't, have a, I don't have a hammer. You have a hammer. Oh, I have a hammer, but I don't have wood. You don't need wood. You need to use the claw hammer to yes. get the nails out of the... Oh! Uh, so you should go back there and see... Uh, yes. So what do I have to do? Say yo-ho? Say yo ho. Maybe, maybe there's a key under the. Oh, that would be nice. You're on the ledge, then you go in from the ledge. Just go in, or what yeah. is it? Go inside. Is there inside? No. What is it? What did I do? It's on, my, it's on the paper. On the other side. Oh no! Go you window. Didn't say. Enter window. There you go. And then it's down. Then, uh, go yeah, go down or go downstairs. Go stairs. That works too. Rug. Rug. So. Uh, use hammer. Is there a use? Nope. Get nails? Get, get rug? No. Or get nails? Okay. <laughs> so do I have them or not? Let's see. No. I Drop know. the duffel bag, maybe? Sure. Or the safety seat? I don't know. It's not a bag of holding, apparently. Is it duffel bag? Is it one word? Sure. Totally forgot about carrying too much stuff. Yeah. Yay! Yay. Then, then. The duffel bag had the crackers, right? No. No. There's so, a sack of crackers and I left it with the um I need carrot. that I need that duffel bag to catch the mongoose. Well for sure. Okay, well um get the rug and see what's under the rug first. Oh yeah. That's why I wanted you to get the nails. Oh, not for hammering. No, no, no. There might be some, get rum. <laughs> need more rum. Oh. Uh Almost. Drop, I do have to drop something, something else. Drop the sneakers. Or the nails. We may actually maybe you just need the nails to make the the. Oh, I think I need wood. Well, That's you fun. you need the you might need the nails to make the ship, but. I don't need get rug. I need to like, yeah pick open up rug. No get rug. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Aha! Look. Ring of keys. <gasps> Ring of keys. Yay! 
Hey. And I can take everything. I out. knew there were keys under the rug. That's where everyone puts their <laughs> keys. Under a nailed down rug. Yeah. Now we can get everything out. Oh, oh gosh. Drop something else. Um, oh, you might want the nails. I do want the nails. <sighs> sneakers? I, I don't think we've needed sneakers yet. So. Oh, you've dropped them already. Oh. What uh, do I have? You have matches. You have the lit torch. I don't know. Do I don't you still need, the, need the matches if you have a lit torch? I don't need the rug. Oh, yeah. Yeah, drop the rug. You don't need the rug. I mean, if you do. And then get it. pick up keys. Or get keys. This does make for quite a long show when you're when you're doing... <laughs> That's Yay, why I put keys. it last. <laughs> What do we need? You need we need keys to the treasure chest and keys the, through that locked door to get the stuff do, out of the crack. It's, I'm. It's probably the door and not the treasure chest. Mm -hmm. um, so. so now I can just do the book thing and get back there. Yes. Do you need the bag? I'm gonna forgo the bag and just do the sail and then and the nails and the and build. Try to get all this stuff out yeah, through the locked hammer door. Hammer and nails. Yeah. yeah. And then at that point we will quit. I'm done. <gasps> what? Because I didn't have my shoes. Oh, your safety shoes. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. So what happens if you die? Do you lose everything? Do you start or? from the beginning again? Oh, oh no. no, you start. I just need my shoes. Psst. 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 Stop it! You have to go up the stairs first, though. Um, <gasps> okay, you're a bad cat. Out. <laughs> I think I'd drop the matches, because the torch is lit. Uh, yeah, the torch is lit. I was thinking you don't really need the matches. See, if you don't have your safety <laughs> shoes... Oh my god, I was typing out as a joke. They're safety sneakers. Maybe they kept you safe all this time and you're going to regret dropping them. <laughs> I, was, I was definitely thinking that. But you, you don't wear them. Like, that's what I found really weird, but... You just have to have them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, am I in the right spot? No, you have to go, go up the stairs. Oops. Oh, your light is glowing. <sighs> oh, you do need the matches then. Oh, uh, what don't I need? The claw hammer, maybe. Oh, I do need it. Oh, I need to uh, uh, stupid water wings. I don't know if I need those right now. Drop, yeah. I'm going to drop the water wings. I mean, you can go back and dump everything about the book and come back and get it back again. That might not be therapy sneakers. <laughs> you should be dead a bug. Really? So it should be done? Oh, good. Ha <laughs> ha. Yay, we got an extra life. <laughs> A bug? Well, I found a bug. Mm -hmm. Version 1.01 you need to release. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now we need to go down. Upstairs. Go up? Yeah, climb the stairs. You're back at the very beginning. Okay. That's why I don't, I don't make the uh, maps. maps. No, I always make maps. Because <laughs> <laughs> you memorize them in stair instead? Where Where are we? You're right back at the beginning, but you can't climb the stairs? I think we're outside. Or we're never Neverland. There is no exit. Oh, we are dead. Hey, Ricardo Pim! Thank you for Thank subscribing! Thank you for subscribing, yes! I think we are dead. I think we are dead. It's just letting us type. <laughs> yes. Well that, well, that was fun, though. Yes. We made it pretty far. It's obvious what you need things. Oh, no. No. Oh. No, we're on the ledge again. Okay. Good. Oh. Is that the last save point? Don't know. No. Okay. We're good. Ring of keys, claw hammer, nails. What? You are dead. No, I'm not. We're not dead. <laughs> we rescued ourselves on. from being dead. How? We were kind of dead. Oh, you found the secret to keep going. Well, I said Yoho again. Did you? Yeah. Oh. 
I have to get my sneaky safety sneakers. Ah, only mostly dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm a little dead. A little dead. Enough to keep going now. I just want. You're one of those uh, supernatural pirates. That's right. Okay, I think we're good now, but we need what's what's my inventory? I need those matches again. Dread Pirate Roberts. Yeah, your lit torch will go out. I need the book. I need the claw hammer. I need the nails. I need the sneakers. I need the keys. I need the torch. Ah! But I also need one more thing. Well, you could drop. I had to go. I have to go back. Drop the claw hammer. Come back again. I mean. Then I say yo-ho again. Now I can drop something. I can drop a bunch of things, actually. I only need to drop one thing. Uh, the hammer. And the nails. Yeah. You probably don't yeah. need those either. No, probably won't. just here. And, and leave the nails there, too. We'll just pretend I never died. Um, not the keys. So now I'm going to say yo-ho again. Go get... Uh, the torch is almost out. When it is out, you cannot go in caves, etc. That yeah, that, that's what I thought. So if you go yo-ho again... And then there's... Where's... Say yo -ho. Oh, you're on the window on the ledge. ledge. Yeah, so go in. Where's the matches? Down. So go okay. in. Go go off. Go with window. I have this memorized already. Yeah. Um. No. Where's matches? No, it's you. Then you go downstairs. Oh, okay. So go down. I think down works. There, and then that's where the duffel bag. There's no matches. Didn't you drop the matches there? Drop the matches on the window ledge. Did you? Yeah. Oh well, then go back to the window ledge. Oh, they weren't there. Oh, they're gone now. I think I think it's corrupted. <laughs> um, grab the duffel bag. They they might be back in the duffel bag. Okay. Oops. Oops. Open the bag. Oh, open. Yeah. Maybe. I, I doubt it. I think it's. I think we're done. It's empty. I think it it got corrupted when we died. Yeah, the matches kind of went away. They disappeared <laughs> into Neverland. Thousand mm. twenty-seven followers. Oh, is that a the a number of a printer, Natari? Like the eight-bit eight -bit printer. printer. Nice. Very nice. Is that uh, what we're up to? Woo! Nice. Yeah. Thousand twenty-seven. Excellent. That's a lot of followers. It is. That's awesome. One point two five k subs on YouTube too. That's really good. D. McKeon 44 puts yes. to that number. Uh, I think we're done. Yeah, I think, I think so. It's got, I, I think, think it got corrupted. I kind of messed it up, but... Yeah. <laughs> Found a bug. That's but that's nice. fun. That's yeah. awesome. Thank well, you for... Thank yeah. you for making it. Yeah. It's, it's a great... I want to play it some more. <laughs> fun, yeah, and map it out properly. Yeah. And, you Both know. games today, very replayable. You just want to keep playing them. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, very, very cool. Yeah. So, oh, look, it stayed up. The whole time. The, oh. Uh, the poll. Oh, that's unusual. So 35% once in a while. And then tie for 20% for second and third place multiple times a year. Mm. And uh, I've gone to one. And oh, in second place. Sorry. Never been to one. So a quarter of you people need to go to one because they're fun. Yeah. Uh, even if you don't buy anything, there's usually just like wandering around video games and just looking at stuff. Yeah. And and it doesn't have Going to be, to you know, the big the big one like PRGE. There's lots no. of local little events, too. Oh, it's really fun when they have open arcades, though. That's, like, the yes. best part, I think, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. Um, so thanks for hanging out, everyone. Mm -hmm. um, I Let me just bring up the list because there's something I added that's kind of interesting uh, that we're going to be playing. Not the next show, but the one after... Mm. We're going to be playing some Jaguar games Ooh. because I got my Jaguar. Yep. 
You were trying it out with Darcy, right? Did you? Um... Uh, we didn't plug it in. I just opened it. Oh no, no. I mean, you weren't you? Oh, I played playing it, it off just stream. To, yeah, off stream. I yeah, mean, yeah, like yeah. you were trying it out. Yeah. Um, because I got Jaguar last episode. Um, in mm -hmm. the mail. And there's the Jaguar multi cart, but we're going to be playing some homebrew games. Yeah. That are up on the shelf that you can't see. Yay. Um, and they are. Let me show it to you. We're going to be playing two shooters, actually. Xenon 2 Mega Blast and Last Strike. Mm. Two very good shooters um, on the Jaguar. So we we'll finally have a Jaguar day. day. Um, but I don't have a sign for it. So <laughs> just be nothing up there. I don't know. Put it I don't have a Jaguar sign. One of the other. I'll have to find one. Um, Use this guy. Jaguar day? Oh, spell it out. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot could. of work. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, I plugged it in and hooked it up. I've got an RGB cable. Looks fantastic. Mm. Looks so nice. Mm -hmm. um, and I've got a multi-cart, the Jaguar GD. So I've been trying out all the homebrew games and the classic games, and they That's all awesome. work so great on this. I've got four joysticks. There is a multi-port attachment that you can play four players at once. Okay. Um, I'll have to look if there's any homebrew four-player four player games, games, but... I think the four-player games that are classic ones are all like sports games. I wasn't interested in any of the, Not that the ones that were listed. Mm. Yeah. Um, but the next episode, we are going to be playing uh, two exclusives. Mm. Hellway, two players edition, okay. which is lots of fun. And also Game Panic 3 exclusive update. Yeah. Might add another game to that. We'll see. It's a okay. 20, two, 2,600 games. So you'll be here. That's, I will be. Uh, this friday yeah. yep um so thanks for hanging out with us everyone yes uh rc7e uh carrie thanks for making the yeah. game it was great really Lots really fun. fun yeah <laughs> and uh the graphics at the top really add a little bit of and the color add a little bit of you know uh more flavor to the game rather than just pure text um right uh vitoko mike soul uh ricardo pym RC70, I already said your name twice. Nostalgic. Uh, Severin? Yeah. C Severin? Severin? I don't know. <laughs> um, thanks for hanging out and chatting today. I noticed yeah. it was your first chat. Uh, Neo Media, Phaser Cat Games, Carl G, uh, Vitoko. Who else? I know there's a lot of people. Mike Soul. Um, oh, that's the top. I know there's a lot of people in the mm -hmm. first half, Inclu including Pac-Man Plus. Yeah, who Thank you here? so much for making uh, Baby Pac-Man, yeah. which we enjoyed a lot. We need to get a lot better at it. It's a tough game, but it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. um, so thanks for hanging out, and we will uh, be back on Friday mm -hmm. with some more... 2,600 games. 2,600 games and more homebrew exclusives. Yay. Uh, see you then. Bye-bye. Have Bye. a good week, everyone. Have a good night.